la 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 uh, yeah, we are gonna start uh, with our normal bullshit. Oh, uh, yeah, in case I'm wondering about yesterday's, yeah, um, yeah, 22. <laughs> uh, lost the Chi Chi immediately, got back, got Corrin. And yeah, that was yesterday, so yeah, uh, man. Pain. I'm <laughs> I'm not lucky at all, but yeah. Um but yeah, um hmm A rich pity, yeah. Weapon weapon it's I, I I'm more, I'm lucky on weapons honestly, but like eh, eh, it's hard to say honestly. But yeah. Uh Right. So yeah, that's about that actually. Uh so like sixty ish average yeah, I think that about checks out, honestly, but yeah. Alright, anyways, uh, yeah, achievement list. These are all bugged, in case you're wondering. Uh, uh, 4.2, this one, until here, this one's bugged. I've done all these already, including this one, even though, you know, uh, actually, like, uh, there's, there's two entries for this one. So yeah, I've done this one. I don't want to double tick it because the number count would be different, so yeah, I'll just leave it as this. So yeah. Uh these two, fine. Uh this one I need to go back to Sumeru so that the quest will trigger in Fontaine. Uh this one is just commission quest, yeah. Uh, uh, commission achievement. Like honestly, other than that I'm done. Honestly, like well, obviously this one, but I think I want to save these for Netland uh animals. I'm close to 100, so yeah, I don't think I need to actively go and do that myself. And same goes for the fishing one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Should be able to get it in that land. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Really, the one that I'm looking at is this one. Is, uh these two right now. So yeah. And then once we're done with that, we can... Uh, not to say ignore commissions, but you know, yeah. All right, I just want to keep farming for Koren. Yes, I still need more starfishies. That's also the other one, but never mind. The tides beckon. But yeah. Oh, okay. Down. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Silence. Okay, can you die please, thanks? That would be nice. Nope, okay, right, there we go. Okay, hi Chris. You yeah, handling the project well shush. <laughs> Don't say what my boss said to me earlier today! <laughs> oh hey, I'm actually quite lucky to get like 3 for quite some time now, but yeah. Uh, trash, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> but yes, hi Crash. Oh yeah, chat! <laughs> you want to see the funniest thing that happened earlier today? Gosh, my boss did this to me. It is so funny. Where is Honky? Okay. Right, uh, Chad, this is what happened earlier today, in case you're wondering. <laughs> it is funny. Boss, I- the sun's out! <sighs> About time we had some dry heat. It's been ba -ba 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 -ba. so ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, right, anyways. Boss, I have a question. No, go away. Boss, I need help. No! <laughs> yes, true story. I want to ask my boss some things. But technically, he's not busy, but he decided to play with... <laughs> he just decided to play along, and he just said this. 
it's the funniest shit ever, honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, he said all these lines in a joking fashion too. It is true, yes. Here's another one. <laughs> Handling the project well, yes, I'm managing good. I'm gonna assign you to do a bigger project from a bigger company. <laughs> uh. I mean, <laughs> he didn't actually assign me, thankfully, but, you know, it is funny. He is considering, but, like, that's down the line. Not yet. He is considering, so I'm like, uh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, I, you know, recently I got, quote-unquote, promoted to door guard, you know, so, you know, he is giving me more jobs now, quote-unquote. So, you know, yeah, this is cool. And the last one, this one's the funniest one. Boss, I need help with this tax effect. Hiya! Like you, like that you also don't know? You got skill issue in PowerPoint or not, yeah? <laughs> Who Tom makes a cameo here? It's funny. Ching Chen is basically I wanna cry. <laughs> yes. But yeah. <laughs> I I wanted to ask him to do uh how how uh, to help on like some things in PowerPoint, but like he just says like, "Ayo, you got skill issue, ah, uh, hi, uh. <laughs> something like that." So yeah, uh, that's funny. But yeah, uh, right, anyways, <laughs> it's so funny. I I I love I love that Crest just made these out of <laughs> out of the blue while I was, you know, just doing this. <laughs> Fuxia <laughs> Ching interaction. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> yeah, these these stories are true in case I'm wondering. <laughs> it is funny. Uh, gosh. So Asian. Hi <laughs> yeah. Uh but yeah, um <laughs> Cause yeah that like like Okay, chat, I swear, I swear I know how to use PowerPoint, okay? I swear. I swear to, I swear to Farina that I know how to use <laughs> PowerPoint. <laughs> but when I put it that way, it makes me look super amateur. So like, my boss decided just, just to make me look as bad as possible in front of, <laughs> in front of everyone. Oh my god, I'm so sad. <laughs> it is funny, but I'm so sad. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I swear this guy is. I swear my boss is just absolutely. Uh, like <laughs> he's so he's so funny, honestly. Gosh, oh my days, man. But yeah. Uh, I should. Oh yeah, right. Uh, in case you're wondering for like the characters, so. Uh, Javrus, I have also. Upgraded her in case I'm wondering. So yeah, this is cool. Yes, yeah, I want to upgrade her. Considering that you know it's the same boss material, I might as well also farm. So yeah, Koran. Uh, yeah, I need more star fishies. I need to farm for them. You know, I show my boss her, and then my boss was like, "Hey." The new character, ah, wow, looks so cool. Has a gun too. Very nice. Yes, but I'm still not playing the game. <laughs> I told, I told him, I told him, Corret is basically catching Max Pro, and then he's like, I don't care. I don't play this game anymore. It's <laughs> so funny, man. But yeah, um, he just says very cool. Uh, uh so so what? <laughs> you know, I'm not playing this game. That's what he says. So yeah, um, but yeah. Very cool. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just let me know if you have more funny combos with boss. I'll make them. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> it is. I mean, yeah. Corrin is basically catching Max Pro, honestly. But, you know. Like, I honestly, I honestly think that she is good. But, you know. I, I don't have the time to build her. Okay, I should say I am in the process of building her. There we go. I'm not completely, uh, you know, ignoring 
to build her. So, you know, yeah. Wee! Lenny. But yeah. Touching Pro Max. Uh, gosh. Oh, hi! Now disappear! Oh, what the heck? Okay, sure. Chat, I swear. Oh my god, what is wrong with my FPS? I have no idea. But yeah, anyways. Uh, gosh, I swear my boss is super based. I, I don't know how, but yeah. Oh my god, it's so laggy. And voila. Oh, hi. You're there. Oh, hey, you're dead. Okay, cool. Hey, at least... At least Linny's skill wouldn't burn me. And, you know... Uh, yeah, wouldn't burn me and wouldn't hurt me in any way, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> There's no way we'll be able to see the stars tonight in this weather. Unless I try making the stars appear anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Lenny, why are you so silly? Gosh. Okay, right, there we go. I honestly like his place though, very glass cannon, you know, like, yeah. Is there no more here? Oh, there is actually no more here. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's let's just go ahead with uh, the quest, alright? Yeah. So, yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, let's just start. Okay, focus mode, let's start. Yes. Very good. Yes, I'm happy. Okay, a flea. Uh, why is it taking this long though? Oh, okay. Great, the weather's clearing up. I wonder if there's someone up there performing magic too. Silly Lenny. Yeah, you're silly. You're so silly. God dang it. <laughs> oh, gosh. But yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna do Corrin story quest. I was told, uh, I mean, we've seen it from chat. We've seen it from the trailer, right? Everyone's gonna be in this, so you know I'm not gonna dawdle around anymore. I'm just gonna go. Yes, I'm just gonna start. It makes no sense to dawdle around anymore. So let's just go. Yeah, I, I was just collecting more stuff for Conrad. Huh? I swear. Oh, what? Do you also see Navia and Corand over there? Huh? They look like they might have run into some kind of trouble. Let's go check out what's going on. Uh, sure. Yeah. Hello there. Hmm. Still no dice? Uh, no dice? <laughs> uh. Uh, not at all. And I've asked pretty much everyone in the Court of Fontaine already. Hmm. Lynette's ears drooped as soon as she heard that we'd have to be out and about for days on end. And Fremenet, uh, he hid himself under his helmet as soon as he realized there'd be people around that he didn't know. Huh? Okay. Hmm. What about Chiori and Charlotte? I feel like both of them would be more than up to it. Mm, I've asked them already, but they're both pretty busy right now. I just gave the members of the Spina a few days off, too, so I don't want to bother them either. Hmm, okay. Hmm, this is getting pretty difficult. <laughs> they're doing the same pose, what the heck is going on? <laughs> what are they planning right now? Nadia, Clarion, what's up? And by the way, uh, uh, cute couple, yes. <laughs> wife and wife, yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> well, if it isn't my dear partners, how are hey. you all doing? Hello there. How you doing? Huh. Navia? Huh? Huh? Oh, you mean... Hmm? Yep. This is our chance. Oh, what? <laughs> Uh, I'm scared, Chad. What are they gonna do to us? 
What are you going to do? <laughs> what What are you gonna do? <laughs> Oh god, the fact that <laughs> the fact that the traveler is also taken aback. Oh my gosh. Oh, precisely. My dear partners, we've got a huge problem right now that only you can solve. Cool. Whoa, for real? No. Absolutely. We've already exhausted all our other options. Uh, tell me about it then. Traveler? Paimon? Yes? Would you join us and play Mar Chausei Hunter Judgment Day? T uh, uh, huh? Is that play? Mar Chausei what now? It's a new game script by the Tabletop Troupe, hmm? a local roleplay adventure club. Uh-huh. Okay, why do we have this commission again? Like, Okay, why are you guys being dragged into this? Ever heard of the Tabletop Troupe? They put out games that allow you to participate in a story and role-play characters with your friends. Oh, I've loved their stuff ever since I was a kid. Huh? That sounds super interesting! Okay. In... K? Clorand and I are both veteran members of the club. Recently, someone came up with a new script and was looking for people to help playtest it for them. Uh, okay? So, are you telling me that... <laughs> Coran? Okay, Coran is a role-player. Question mark? I mean, Navia, I can believe. A little question mark, but... Eh? Huh. And when they asked, of course I couldn't refuse. <laughs> I mean, come on. A brand new script? Nobody has ever played it before. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Generally speaking, scripts at that level of development have a lot of issues. But I think this one is pretty solid. The author obviously put a lot of work into the story, and the world building is also quite credible. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know I was the one that handed you the script, but some of us haven't read it yet. No spoilers, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, the script calls for a team of four. Ah, yes. We're missing one final player right now. Ah, uh, okay. You are right, that's a big problem. <laughs> but I'm not interested. I don't know. I'm not interested in roleplaying. So, you're saying you'll help us out? <laughs> I knew I could count on you, partner. Well, I don't have a chance anymore. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have a choice anymore. Dang. Uh, I'm on the traveler are kind of a package deal. Is that okay? That's not a problem. I'll adjust the pace based on the actual number of players, and ensure that everyone has a good time. Hmm. Well, Traveler, what do you think? Wanna play? Paimon will follow your lead. Oh, uh, well, never mind then. I guess I'll help my friend. Well, that solves our problem. You have our thanks. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll go grab the script manager from the club right away. Okay. The script manager? Didn't you just say that you gave Claran the script? The club introduced a completely new kind of gameplay for the script. Huh? In this iteration, the Game Master's version of the script is incomplete. The script manager provides the next part of the script only after players have completed the current list of objectives. Oh. On top of that, <laughs> in order to increase player immersion, the club has created some of the story's sets and scenes in real life. Huh? We'll only know where we should go once the script manager reveals the starting location. Okay, that's interesting. Wait! Why am I drawing parallels to Staril right now with Elio and the Stellaron Hunters? I feel like this is what's happening right now. Uh, am I the only person here that feels that? Because I swear, uh, there is uh, there are uh, huge similarities going on right now. Oh boy. Wow, you're right. Whoever wrote this script really did put in a lot of work. Imagine that this guy is actually Elio. Imagine that the, you know, the, the script master, you know, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> and it's got a real healthy amount of suspense, right? I mean, hmm. even the GM doesn't know how the story will end. <laughs> they use short forms, not that's cool. I look forward to experiencing it with you all. Why don't you go meet up with the others first? They should all be waiting at Chioria Boutique. I'll come over with the script manager as soon as I find them. Okay. Sounds good. Remember to always watch where you're going, and don't rush. <laughs> oh, you say that like I'm six years old or something. <laughs> I feel like Navia's six years old <laughs> or something. <laughs> no, not really. 
I mean... Hmm, let me think. What kind of character should I play this time? I don't know. I just hope you'll pick up some useful skills this time. Oh, and stop trying to persuade every animal you come across. <laughs> okay. Oh. Silent Night. Hmm. That's the name of a song that I know of. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they're gone. Okay. Never mind. Okay, let's go to the boutique. Yes. Yes. Wait. No, 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 no. I forgot. This is right. We're not going to the store. We're going to Chiro Chir Chiori's. Ah, look at them! It's both of them. Look, it's both of them. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's it's rare that these two get to sit together. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, you're back. Huh? And you've got the traveler and Paimon with you too. Hey. I. Uh, okay. When I first came across just now, I thought it was only Furina. No, Lenny's here too. I'm happy. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Hey. I assume you'll be joining us for the game then. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Lenny, Farina, Paimon didn't know you were playing too. Are you also members of the tabletop troupe? Hey, hello there. Hey. Hmm, I'm more of a casual member, if anything. Huh. I haven't taken part in many formal club activities. Lynette Fremenet and I play something similar at the Hotel Bouffe Tete sometimes, but I'm usually the GM. I see. Still, I'm sure it'll be fun being a player for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm not a member of the club at all. Cloran simply woke me up first thing this morning, <laughs> said there was a good script worth experiencing, and asked if I wanted in. Oh, cool. If you're interested, I can give you a referral. That should give you a 40% discount on membership fees. Ooh. I think I'll wait to see how this experience plays out first, especially when it comes to the quality of the script. If it's sufficiently fun... Then I'll join. <laughs> of course, Farina. Do you participate in a lot of tabletop troop activities, Clarine? You could say that. She's actually one of the few senior game masters of the troop. Oh? Hmm. Ah, right. I knew about that even when she was still my subordinate. <laughs> okay. Ha. Huh. Uh, it's nothing. Really, just a small hobby of mine. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. Intimidating as the champion duelist. It's kind of hard to imagine you role playing with a bunch of friends. Hmm. Yeah, indeed, it is tough. I did not expect that, I'll be honest with you. So, if we have a problem with uh, any of the rules, do you still have to submit a duel request to <laughs> you? Surely you jest. I would never intentionally make things difficult for my players. Okay. I maintain a clear boundary between my professional and personal lives. The me you see at court represents the law and order of Fontaine. I put all personal feelings to the side, and grant a fair duel to all who seek to defend their honor. Mm. But in my personal life, I'm just an ordinary person. Someone who feels anger and sadness, just like everyone else. Mm. Well, you say that, but for all the time I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. I've seen you get angry, sure, but... Now I'm wondering whether you were actually mad or if it just looked that way from the outside. <laughs> That's the one way to put it. Uh, I was probably in work mode during those times. Is that so? Well, in any case, I just feel like even in your personal life, you don't get emotional very often. I mean, to be honest, that is the... Uh, what to call feeling that I get first when I, you know... Uh, like, so far, right now, Corrin just seems like the most, uh, you know, uh, yeah, has, what would you call, has, like, personality of Nuvelet. But I guess this is much more human-like, I guess, in a way. So you want to see me cry? <laughs> that might be a little difficult. <laughs> a show of anger, though. That might be something I could accomplish. Oh? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Silly. 
Uh, Farina's being silly here, honestly. <laughs> Alright, anywho. Let's see what's next here. Hmm. Ah, I'm back! Here, hey, hey. allow me to introduce you to the script manager, Mr. Florian. Uh, hi. Pleasure to meet you all. You look interesting. Hello! Uh, wait, are you a champion duelist too, Mr. Florian? Uh. Oh, no. This is just the costume provided by the club. Mm. I occasionally play a few of the roles in my scripts. That sounds like a lot of work. It's nothing. It's the least we can do to give the players a more immersive experience. Mm. Anyway, allow me to give you a brief introduction of the script. This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shose Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Familiar with the history of the Marachose hunters. Is that a problem? Oh, no problem at all. I can give you a brief rundown. So, basically, Marachose hunters were people who dedicated themselves to hunting monsters and protecting the city by using a special swordsmanship technique passed down over generations. Their story can be traced back to the ancient Remurian dynasty as well as the first hunter, Cassiodor. But I'll leave the finer details for you to seek out and discover later. Mm-hmm. And I'll provide additional commentary as the story progresses. In that case... <clears throat> Brave hunters, are you ready to set out on an unknown adventure? Whoa, just one sentence and it's yeah. like we're in the story already! I can tell he put in a bit more effort into that line, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. I see many a determined gaze before me. Very well. Head over to this location and begin your heroic journey. Oh? So, as we follow the story, it leads us to specific scenes? Ooh, sounds pretty innovative. What does the message in the envelope say? It's the exact location of the scene, mm. as well as the formal permission to use the venue. <laughs> Seems like they have everything prepared. Huh. Please check all your belongings, everyone, and make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Once you're ready, Please follow me to the designated location. Oh, check all your belongings. Yeah, I would definitely ask the same question too. Like when we were usually eating, uh, eating, having lunch or whatever at like, you know, a place, uh, let's say a restaurant, okay, or cafe or whatever. Uh, every time I leave the table, I'll be like, make sure you got your belongings or something like that. Or when someone got my car, I'll be like, make sure to check if you didn't drop your handphones or something or, or, or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> Sounds good! Hunter Squad, move out! Oh boy. Yay! Yay! Oh uh, gosh. This, is, this might be fun. Yes. I mean, I don't expect lore in this one, but... Eh, I don't know. Maybe some, I guess. I, I guess? I don't know. I feel like... Okay, chat. I think I might be a bit too harsh on yesterday's, you know, story and stuff, but, you know, I think it still remains true for me, no matter what, you know. And also, I want these, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, right. Because, you know, uh, Lenny, yes. As much as I'm not really beating him right now, so, yeah. Oh, god dang it! Disappear. Okay, well, that's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, right. Okay, right, let's start, I guess. And also, I want this, yes. Oh, but, uh, well, that's not exactly what I was hoping for, but never mind. Hey, Reddish! Chat! It's a Reddish! Oh my god! <laughs> it's the heater. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, right. So, where are we supposed to go? Oh, okay, continue heading. Okay, I see now. Sure, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother you, yeah? Yeah, let's just uh, go there. <laughs> Hey, it's Chris's favorite song. <laughs> oh, 
gosh. But yeah. Okay, right. There we go. Wow, it's really out here. But it's a cute place, actually. It's a cute place. And this song plays too. I like this. <laughs> they really have thought of everything. Even the Phaetometer is here and ready to go for us. Ooh. The Phaetometer. What's that? Uh, it's the D20. It's a card that's used to determine action success or failure. We'll need to use it when we try to use certain skills. And what about all the dessert and tea? Is that for us as well? I assume so. That's what the message said. Huh. Oh, really? That's so nice. It feels just like a tea party with friends. <laughs> Those snacks have Paimon's name written all over them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think you might be more of a snack hunter than a Mara Shose hunter, Paimon. Indeed. Snack hunter Paimon reported for duty. If there are delicious snacks to be found, Paimon will track down every last one. <laughs> the desserts are great. <laughs> but I'm still looking forward to the story more than anything. Same here, yes. <laughs> Very fair. Then, let us begin. All right. First, please pick up the blank character cards in front of you mm. and write down your name and profession. Okay. You can find an abbreviated version of the rules printed on the back of your character card. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Okay. In this story, everyone is a Mara Chaussee hunter. To reflect this, the club has prepared a small badge for everyone. Mm. Ooh, nice! That is nice, yeah. As hunters, you have proficiency in swordsmanship and fighting by default. So there's no need to allocate any additional skill points to those areas. Mm. Swordsmanship? So there's a fighting part to all of this? Um, Paimon's not sure she can do all that on her own. Maybe Paimon can just stick with you? Mm. <laughs> Why don't you share a character card then? The Traveler will be the Mara Chaussee Hunter, and you can be his little floating assistant. Eh, works. <laughs> ah, kinda like in real life. So, for the name, do I fill it out with the name of my character? Yep, it can be any name you like. Oh. You can use your real name too if you want. I do that whenever I get too lazy to think of a new name. <laughs> oh, so it would be like... Uh, like experiencing a different life, but still as yourself. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> it fits her personality, yeah. Hmm, in that case, I think I'll continue to use the name Linny then. Hey, <laughs> he's boring like me. <laughs> he's boring like me. <laughs> Uh, I need to, I need to, I need to clip this. <laughs> Wait, I need to do this. <laughs> oh God, that is so funny. Next up is the skill sheet. You have a limited amount of skill points that you can use to learn a number of skills. Mm -hmm. The more points you invest in a particular skill, the easier it will be to pass associated checks. Oh, okay. So, okay, it's basically like Fallout then, if that's the case. I mean, uh, that's why it's called role-playing action game. Hmm. Uh. I'll take persuasion and investigation. Those are must-haves when it comes to missions like these. Oh, those skills sound like they'd be useful for gathering intelligence. Good idea, Navia. Just as expected of a veteran player. <laughs> hmm. So, should we also take those skills then? I uh, usually no. Not necessarily. Since we're working together as a team, we could leave the negotiations to Navia and use our skill points to pick up other useful skills. Mm hmm. For example, I think I'll take stealth and sleight of hand. Hey. That will give us more options if we run into any situations we can't negotiate our way out of. Yep, that is so lenny. Oh my gosh, I would have also taken those skills. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it like that. I suppose it's not so different from an acting troupe. Everyone has their own role to play. Y yep, something like that. Let me see. 
I'll take art and performance. Mm. I'm not quite sure what use they'll be, but I'm not as knowledgeable about the other skills. And uh, I am not too confident I'd be able to roleplay them well. <laughs> oh, this is so Farina. Silly. Well, that leaves us. What do you want to learn, Traveler? Oh, okay. Cooking Medicine Insight. Uh, insight sounds interesting, yeah. I think I'll take Insight. Like, as much as medicine is a thing, uh, Insight. Oh, something that'll help you get a read on other people's thoughts. Sounds useful. Cooking and medicine, okay, M medicine, I guess. Ooh, so you want to help people when they're injured? That's nice of you. Don't tell me it doesn't so what matter. Do you think? Are you sure you want to learn these two skills? Oh, so either is cooking or insight. Oh, or or medical. You know what? These two are good. Yeah, sure. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, looks like you each have enough points to choose one final skill. Oh, okay. Interesting. You've all picked such classic skills. It's fine to go a little bit out of the box, you know. Okay. Why do I get the feeling she's getting ready to cause trouble? Corrin <laughs> uh, knows her a bit too well. For example, this one here. Summon. Doesn't it sound super mysterious and cool? Hmm. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, I saw that one just now as well. The uh, description says... This skill can be used under certain circumstances to summon characters or creatures that fit the script's world-building rules. Hmm. The script's world-building rules, huh? Hmm. But how are we supposed to know what a Marashose hunter can summon? Hmm. Oh, that's not for us to worry about, my friend. <laughs> Just learn the skills that interest you. And the GM will take care of the rest. Oh boy, <laughs> this is making her job a bit too much. <sighs> <laughs> I knew it. All right, you've convinced Paimon. Let's learn summon then. Huh? Paimon can't wait to see what kind of thing shows up. Uh. Well, now that everyone's more or less finished creating their characters, we can begin. Okay. Since two of our players are doing this for the first time, though, let me ask. Oh. Would you like to play on easy mode or? Authentic mode. Authentic is fine. Usually, try it. here's the thing. Like, I play every game on the hardest difficulty, even though it's on first try. Obviously, hardest difficulty that's available upon first playthrough, that is. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'll usually just go for authentic. Uh, what's the difference between the two? I mean, that would also be a good question. Well, in role-playing games... The story sometimes changes based on the decisions of the players and the results of the fatometer. Mm. For example, if you fail a check, that means you cannot use the target skill in that scenario. A critical failure may even result in further negative consequences. <laughs> oh my god, Laugh would love this so much. If you choose to play in authentic mode, every time you elect to use a skill, you'll need to use the fatometer to see whether you succeed or fail and face any consequences that may follow. Of course I'll go for that, yeah. It just makes sense, yeah. And Lev would definitely love this story quest, honestly. Like, she is very into Dungeons & Dragons, honestly, so yeah. If you choose easy <laughs> mode instead, every check will be successful by default, and you won't have to worry about luck playing a factor. Hmm. Okay, so I want to play authentic mode. I want to see how Bad everything could happen. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just go for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Trample misses. Hmm. Okay. Given that I'd like to focus on the story, I suppose I should pick easy mode. Uh, I'd feel bad if I brought the team down by failing my checks. <laughs> huh? Oh, come on. Don't worry about that. RNG is the lifeblood of role playing games. I'm going with authentic mode for sure. Oh, gee! Why is this a term being used in this game? It's so dumb. I mean, okay, it's not dumb. Okay, it's not dumb. I'll be I'll be real with you. It's not dumb, but it is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how they're drinking hot tea outside at 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that, that just makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. RNG. RNG, GM, these are like very modern terms. I swear not many people know what RNG is. I mean, 
I, actually, I do know. Uh, I'm pretty sure most do know, so yeah. Never knowing what you might have to overcome. Ugh, doesn't that sound exciting? I honestly think authentic mood. I'll just pick that. Um, I, I'd rather be mentally prepared for what might happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah. GM Grandmaster? No, Games Master. <laughs> Alright, then I'll mark down Farina for easy mode. All her checks will be successful by default. As usual, Navia and Linny will play on authentic mode. Hey! What about you, dear partner? How would you like to play? Authentic mode. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes! <laughs> Trust me, you'll see the beauty of RNG. <laughs> I... Chat, I, I don't care, okay? Like, I don't... I, I know I don't play these type of games, but, you know, it's still fun, okay? It's still fun. Honestly, I don't think Clorand would make things too difficult for us, no matter what the Phaetometer says. Isn't that right, Clorand? No, you know what, Clorand? Just be as ruthless as possible. I don't care. Hmm, <laughs> no promises. <laughs> exactly my style. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll die. I'll get a zero. Chat, I get a zero, and then I'll die instantly, and then... Game over, I need to restart from, you know, um, uh, Prologue Chapter 1. Yeah, uh, uh, Prologue Act 1, yes. Uh, I wake up at the beach again, yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> yes, and then you just like you drown at AR1. I'll just restart at AR1, losing everything that I have, because I will cry. <laughs> uh, that wasn't super reassuring. Eh, I wasn't finding reassurance in that. Well, anyway, enough talk. Let's get started. I want to experience at least a good chunk of the story today. I realized that I didn't choose a name. But I chose my skills, so that's fine, yeah. Wait, Chris, have you done this story quest yet? Just asking. But yeah, like, it's fun, okay? I think this story quest is fun. It's not necessarily lore building. So, yeah. Watch on your YT. Okay, fair enough. Speaking of the story, why is the beginning scene on a beach? <laughs> you want to know what skill I picked? I picked insight and medicine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I think I like those two skills more than anything, so yeah. Well, that's because oh. <clears throat> a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> okay. Back when human civilization was still in its infancy, powerful demons and evil sorcerers ruled over the land. They created a host of monsters, and sent them to slaughter all humans in existence. Oh, okay. Cause Paimon goes gluck 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 uh, first in the beach. Oh wait, no, mine. <laughs> okay, sure. <clears throat> Soon, a group of human rebels banded together. With their swords raised, they swore to brave the darkness. And in doing so, subdue each and every monster that sought their destruction. They became known as the Marachose Hunters. I like her outfit, by the way. Her outfit looks cool. Her roleplay outfit, I should say. Okay. Oh, 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 what? Oh, this is a nice cut. This is a nice, uh, what to call cut, uh, transition scene. This reminds me a lot of like the. Eh, what games would that be? Like, I don't know, Resident Evil, I guess, in a sense, without the text. Yeah, yeah. Or Valve games, there we go. Yeah, like Some Portal 2, later, there we go. As a member of the Marachose Hunters, you receive a commission. Following the address provided on the message, you take a boat and arrive at this strange city. Yeah, I, I was saying that, not Valve games, but like, you know, um, basically... Uh, Portal 2, like, you know, when you're transitioning between the levels, that is what it reminds me of. Obviously, it the minus the zoom out section, but, you know, yeah. It's a cool BG, yes, it is very good, yeah. Sometime later, uh... Okay, right. As you inhale... Wait! You can taste the slightly salty air of the docks as you begin to survey your surroundings. There aren't many Wait. people in the vicinity. Wait. But you do take note of a few others who, like you, seem to be sizing up this place. Why are we in Mondstadt? This is Mondstadt, chat. 
I I know this is role play, but like they're using they're using monster location here. I recognize the dog from anywhere. <laughs> so basically, just use your imagination. I I am bad at this, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> anywho. <laughs> your eyes meet, and you realize these people are fellow Marashose hunters. Likely led to this location after receiving the same commission as you. Mm. You're all Marashose hunters too, right? Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Navia. Monster hunter by trade and helpful neighborhood businesswoman on the side. Hey. What say you to traveling together? We can help each other out on the road. Okay. Count me in. Oh my god, Linny looks so cool. Oh my gosh, he's actually wearing the, the artifact set. I love that so much. Oh my god. It suits him. Honestly, it suits him lore-wise and also gameplay-wise because, you know, artifacts are supposed to be worn on characters. So, you know, this looks cool. This actually looks cool, I must say. My name is Linny. I've been wandering since I was little and picked up a few less than legal tricks along the way. I was adopted by Amara Shose Hunter and later chose to follow in his footsteps. Hmm. Uh, is this where you introduce your character to everyone? <laughs> it sounds like they've done this dozens of times. <laughs> Farina, silly. Uh -huh. My name is Farina, and um, I grew up in a noble family. I always had a strong interest in performance and the arts. <laughs> Even though I'm a Marsha Say hunter, what I really want is to be a performing artiste. <laughs> I can tell, like, <laughs> oh, look at her chat. She looks so cool in this uh, picture. That's actually cool, honestly. Hey, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. You can do it, Farina. That's exactly <laughs> how it's done. <laughs> Paimon is Paimon, a good friend and companion to this Marichose hunter right here. Hey, hey Marichose hunter's good friend. I have no name. <laughs> I've been studying medicine oh. ever since I was a child. I want to do my part to eradicate these monsters and use what I've learned to heal others. Hey, that works enough. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome. When we face the monsters, I'll make sure to charge in front to give everyone some cover. You can take care of the healing at the back. Hey, sure. Eater is God of Ramsey the chef. Oh, if I chose cooking, then yes, I will be, I'll be the chef. Yes. <laughs> This is Eater. No, 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 no. I think, I think your role represents which uh, character art you get. So, like, if you choose Chef, you would actually be Gordon Ramsay. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's not uh, gender related. It's not. It's not main MC uh, gender related. It's just whatever you choose. Because I'm pretty sure. You will be the chef in the other one. But yeah, I chose a different one, yes. You open your envelopes at the same time. The message reads, To the honorable and trustworthy Mara Shose hunters, our kingdom is currently facing a grave crisis. Oh? The lands outside the capital have been overtaken by monsters, and our people are being led astray by forces of wickedness. We beseech you... Please help us resolve this crisis and return peace and stability to our home. Chad, I don't know if you know this. Uh, <laughs> the message reads, no, no, Chris, no. Shush. Chris, do you remember that video where Klee gets airdrop into Mondstadt's Entrance and that has to kill a bunch of hillichos with a uh, assault rifle. <laughs> Remember that video? It's basically caught but in monster, <laughs> as in Call of Duty but in monster. <laughs> this reminds me of the same exact situation right now. I'll be honest with you, <laughs> except we are not using guns. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This gives me the same feeling. I'll be honest with you. I mean, not at the exact same starting position, but whatever, you know. Huh. The layout of this city looks super familiar. <laughs> it kind of reminds Paimon of Mondstadt. God damn it, Paimon. I said that. 
The script writer must have used a real-world city as a reference when coming up with the map. Bosh pie, bud. <laughs> <clears throat> as experienced hunters, the layout of the city reminds you of places once traveled. You recall the sight of tree-lined streets and the gentle tranquility of days gone by. <laughs> no, no, shush, Cress. <laughs> Yet, as you regard the city in front of you, it appears to be little more than an empty shell. Its hollow gates are open to you, beckoning you to come forth and bring salvation back to the town. I mean, there was no gates, so to be honest, it's already wide open. So, you know, yeah. I carefully read every line of the letter and turn my attention to the signatures at the bottom. Who issued this commission to us? You see a long string of unfamiliar names. It would seem that many of the residents of the city issued this commission together. They oh. sensed that things were not right within the kingdom and sent a distress signal to the outside world. Huh. CD is evacuated because clean runs loose. <laughs> she runs around with like C4s and grenades and stuff. Yes. <laughs> because it's clean, of course. Hmm. In that case, why don't we take a walk around the city and see if we can learn anything from the local residents? Yes, indeed. But yeah, chat, like the last time Linny and Furina uh, were together in the scene is. Uh, Act 1. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Act 1 of uh, Fontaine Chapter. Yeah, um, like, we never seen them together ever since. I'm happy that both of them are in this story right now. Like, I'm happy. You know, that two of my favorite characters are actually in here right now. So, that's cool. Oh, good idea. We might be able to get some leads on the monsters and bad guys we're after. Ooh. Ooh, that's a cool transition, I must say. Up and see a tavern nearby. It appears to be open for the day. But Venti is not there! Uh. Why don't we go check out that tavern? If the novels I've read are anything to go by, taverns are usually full of information. <laughs> oh, gosh, Lenny is not there, chat. I'm so sad. Anyways. <clears throat> Okay, right. And also the fact that we are also... Ah, my boy! <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise! I, I cannot believe I made that noise. Why did you... Ah, I'm so mad! I'm so mad! Oh, what the... Oh, okay, you know what? I'm not as mad now. I'm not as mad. <laughs> no bless. <laughs> yes, no bless. Uh, I can't believe these characters are actually C3. What the hell? Why do they give us and signature weapons? What is wrong with them? Okay. Well, well, I don't think I've good. I have no artifacts. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, everyone has that signature. As you approach oh, the tavern, the? you find a plainly dressed woman standing nearby. Hmm. She appears to be rather troubled about something. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Greetings, friend. Oh. Lovely weather we're having today, don't you think? Oh, so Navia is playing. Uh, sorry, not Navia. Um, Koren is role playing as the passerby. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why did you? Oh gosh, Corn. <laughs> Venti evacuated too. <laughs> uh, at this point, we are Archons, but we are just. At this point, we are the Archons, cause we are the C three dudes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Ugh, God. Oh, hello. I suppose you're right. The weather today is quite lovely. If only those monsters out there would stop causing trouble. Mm. It seems like every character included in the script has a certain amount of useful information to offer. If we keep asking questions, 
We might be able to get some good leads. Yes, indeed. Oh, come now, don't be sad. Life is all about optimism. Oh, that reminds me. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, a bit too random, but sure. Uh, huh? <laughs> that is such a random question, but yeah. Can someone stop pinging me? Oh, wait, that's... 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 Chris. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I saw. Wait, <laughs> just see this. Imagine this is finite mode. <laughs> FNAF, chat, FNAF <laughs> Five Nights at Furinas <laughs> Five Nights at Furinas <laughs> I love that, that was, that was funny, that was funny <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the kind of question we're supposed to ask <laughs> Furina knows <laughs> Nothing turns a frown upside down like good food how about some macarons? I could make you some. <laughs> you didn't even take cooking as one of your skill proficiencies. Bruh. Uh, that's not necessary, miss. Excuse me for saying this, but you don't really look like a chef. Besides, I'm not really a fan of sweets. Sorry for the king. No, it's okay. Like, I think the other servers are the one that I got annoyed at because, like, they pinged me twice and nothing happened. I thought it was the same server. Never mind, it's fine. Okay, right. Uh, like, they roll ping. Okay, roll ping. Okay, I, 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 uh, they wasn't specifically pinging at me, but they're just using the role that I was in and ping the role. So, yeah. No, I, it's okay, Chris. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I was just. I was just expecting that they would keep pinging, but never mind. Otherwise, I would have disabled that server, honestly, but whatever. It's fine, but it is funny, honestly. Five Nights at Furinas. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine a horror game based on that. I would actually play that. <laughs> Imagine. Watch like in October, someone actually made that. So you're someone who barely smiles and doesn't like sweets. Hmm. You're really starting to remind me of this one friend of mine. It's Corrin. <laughs> Bro, is she roleplaying or is she... Uh, I, 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 I wanna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna cry, chat. This is awful. Hey, did she just... Uh, me? Uh. <sighs> Clorian must have broke character for a second. <laughs> That is so funny. Navia, stop. <laughs> yeah, that is so funny. And look at Furida. She's so cute. Look at her. Oh my god. I I'm gonna screenshot this. She's so cute. She's so cute. Ah! <laughs> look at her. I want to... I want to... I, I want to pinch her chubby cheeks. Look at that. She's chubby from all those... Uh... Cakes that she's been eating. Yes, <laughs> let's just go with that. <laughs> yes. Uh, gosh, I love her. She cute. Koran would literally hit you with a stop sign. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> this isn't getting us anywhere. Um, traveler, maybe you can think of something. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd like to use insight to check what's troubling her. The results of insight checks aren't disclosed to the players, so I'll be the one consulting the Phaetometer. <clears throat> okay, so... Bound up, bound up by the rules of D20. Okay, I'm not choosing. Wait, what? Okay. You recall all the lessons you've learned in your time, and begin to carefully observe the woman's mannerisms. Okay, I thought it was gonna reveal what's the number. Wait, what did I see just now? I don't know. You notice that when she's quiet, she has an empty look in her eyes, as if her thoughts have drifted to a place far, far away. And when she speaks, she often subconsciously reaches out to touch the ring on her left hand. Did something happen to your husband? Ah, uh, so you noticed. That's a little embarrassing. Uh... A horde of monsters suddenly appeared near the capital recently, so all the guards were dispatched to fight them. I see. Do you remember when those monsters appeared? Uh, I'm not completely sure. All I know is that my husband was dispatched to fight them three days ago. Mm. Do you know where he was sent? 
It all happened so fast. When we said our goodbyes, he couldn't even tell me where they were sending him. Hmm. You have our thanks, friend. We'll find and defeat those monsters as soon as possible. We sincerely hope your husband will be able to return to your side soon. Hmm. Current. Navi, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, thank you. Wait, this is the same place where uh, technically inside of this, uh, the, 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 the bar is where we hear the iconic line. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find him. Just try to remain optimistic and wait for good news. We don't always get to choose what happens to us. But we do get to choose the little things like what we eat and how we respond to the things life throws our way. I hope that one day you too will recognize the power of something as small and inconsequential as a delicious dessert. <laughs> I... I'll do my best. You bid farewell to the woman and continue your journey further into the city. I realized something. This this character that Corrin is playing sounds very much like Corrin's voice actress, honestly. Just so you know. Yeah. Labian! Labian! <laughs> okay, or not, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh! Wait, since when Linny's badge lights up? Oh, is it because he C3? That's why he lights up. Oh, that's cool. As you venture further into the city, the streets appear largely empty. An elderly woman walks past. You see her shake her head as she puts away her wrinkled wallet. Hmm. A nearby merchant folds his arms and gives you a disdainful look. You get the impression that he's someone who has long gotten used to the sight before him. Wait. Where did that lady go? Never mind. Hi. Um. Although he doesn't seem very friendly, merchants are usually a good source of information, right? Uh, in a way, yes. No, no wine for you. <laughs> I sure Lady can drink, but uh, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure Lady would drink. Yeah. Pardon me, sir. I'd like to ask a question, if I may. That depends. How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> oh my god, Corrin. <laughs> okay, she's role-playing. Uh, I mean, of course, like, she's the game master. It makes sense, yeah. How about this much? Oh? <laughs> what do you take me for? Some lowly beggar? <laughs> you can't even buy half an onion with that amount. What? Uh, surely an onion can't be that expensive. <gasps> Right? It can't be that expensive. Yeah, that is insane. Big muscle voice by Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, time waste for no one, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Cheer up. <laughs> Something I don't know. Oh God, it's uh, I, I, I'm referring to Clocky, but sure. <laughs> eh, what do you know? War is nearly upon us. Everything costs several times what it did before. If you're not gonna buy anything, then scram. <laughs> also, Mickey, I will send you to the fishes. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> uh, cool. Oh, what a nasty guy. Maybe we shouldn't even bother talking to him. Hmm. hmm but he still might have information we need. Uh, Traveler, can you think of something? Persuade him, Navia, I guess? I don't know. Sir, we came to this city to solve the very problem you seem to be referring to. The war you mentioned. Uh, would it happen to be against the monsters outside the city? If you happen to be well informed and know a thing or two about what's going on, we'd appreciate it if you could share that information with us. After all, the sooner this problem gets resolved, the easier it will be for you to do your business. Indeed. Eight. Yay! I'm happy. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, Farina is the only one that guarantees a win. So to be honest, I don't really want to use Farina as much. Right. Otherwise, it would make this less interesting. But still. <sighs> well, things are basically as you said, young lady. 
Those monsters are camped outside the city, and they've been destroying all our trade routes. Mm. We have limited reserves within the city, so if this continues, we're all gonna be in big trouble. Oh, there is a gate. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It does exist. Right. Wait, you're saying no one has put a plan in place to distribute supplies or maintain order? Order. <laughs> We could all starve, and those nobles in the palace wouldn't even break a sweat. Mm. Who knows? Maybe they've been in cahoots with the monsters all along. Mm. That is concerning. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right, all right. That's all the information you need, right? Off with you now. I've still got business to do. Okay. You know, if you smiled a little more, you'd definitely get more business. And I bet that would make your life just a little bit sweeter. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to work. It's just a tip. Is she offering tip to Corrin again? Because Corrin never smiles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna cry. This is impossible, honestly. God damn it. Should we try to go somewhere with more people? Hmm. Oh, how about the city square? Uh, follow me. Oh, uh, the adventurous good looks a bit different today. Uh, it's odd not seeing Katrin in the Adventurous Guild, I'll be honest with you, but uh, this is not the Adventurous Guild, so... Can I go to the cat sale? Okay. Nope, nope, I guess not. To be honest, I don't want to play TCG anyway, so it probably wouldn't matter. Before you lies the city's central square. You see a man with a slightly anxious look on his face, Pacing back and forth, his head hanging low. Okay, sure. He doesn't seem to notice your approach. Still <laughs> immersed in his own thoughts, he shakes his head and lets out a long sigh. <laughs> <sighs> Chris, your favorite song. <laughs> your, head, your head banging song. <laughs> this guy seems promising enough. Maybe I can get some information out of him. It banging. <laughs> yes. Hello, sir. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh-oh. Wait, you're... Huh? Uh, I'm... Huh? Oh, dear goodness. You're... You're a Mara Shose hunter. Uh, yes, indeed. You recognize us? Ah, are you one of the people who wrote the commission letter? It's odd having this music in Monster Grounds. Yeah, it is weird, but to be honest, a change in pace like this is quite it's more interesting than I expected. So, I don't think it's a problem. It's cool. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't expect you to actually come. Oh, what great news. The city is saved. Huh? What happened here? Alas, we once lived comfortable, carefree lives. This city used to be free of monsters. The first Mara Shose hunter, Cassiodor, the Golden Hunter, he was the one who drove them back. Uh, however, monsters have once again surrounded the city. Perhaps the seal that kept them at bay has lost its power. Or perhaps an evil sorcerer has been meddling in our affairs. Uh, all I know for sure is that their return has stripped the city of any chance at peace. Hmm, interesting. Imagine Cleese running around here with that music playing, them bombs, <laughs> trolls bombs everywhere. For some reason, his voice now reminds me of Mika. Eh, I don't know, Mika's a bit more, uh... Nah, 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 it's not Mika. I mean, like, I can see why you would say that, but to me, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Are there not enough soldiers to drive them out? It's not a question of numbers. The guards simply have no idea how to deal with them. Hmm. Most people my age have never even seen one of the monsters, much less been trained to fight against them. Uh, what's worse, many of us don't even know the history of the Mara Shose hunters anymore. Oh no. When I was a child, though... My grandfather would tell me stories about how the Mara Shose hunters drove back the monsters. So, on the off chance that something might come of it, I decided to reach out to you. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, I was starting to think all those stories were just tall tales. 
But now that I've seen you in person, I finally know that it was true. Mm -mm. Well, you can rest easy, friend. The righteous and formidable Marshosei hunters are on the case. The man is touched by your determination and resolve. His eyes begin to well with tears of relief. <laughs> Still, if we are going to hunt the monsters, we need to know where to find them. Can you give us any leads? Uh, all I know is that the area outside the city is dangerous. I'm afraid I can't point you toward a specific location. Hmm. Oh, although... If you leave the capital through the main gate and follow the road, you should run into a group of guards. They might know more about where to find the monsters. Hmm. Interesting. I see. We'll go look for them, then. All right. Be careful. Oh, and one last thing. The monsters outside the city are just part of the problem. There are evil sorcerers inside the city as well, so be on your guard. Wait, what? That's new. They're actively working with the monsters, and have corrupted the court ministers with malicious magic. They're the reason why, even inside the city, everything has been a giant mess. I thought it was a conspiracy. I guess it's true then, huh? Even one of our kindest ministers has turned into a boorish and unreasonable figure, interested in nothing but enacting laws that exploit the people. Uh, who knows how much longer we'll be able to go on like this. Huh. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Indeed. Hmm. I feel bad for him. Maybe we should try to cheer him up? Morina, could you sing him a song? I can't cook, by the way. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, now? <laughs> Is this really the right time? I mean, eh, I don't know. It's the better option of the two. <laughs> Master Jean turned in <laughs> turn evil. <laughs> no. No. I appreciate your kindness, but for now, it's more important to focus on the crisis at hand. Mm -mm. Brave hunters, I leave the future of this kingdom to you. Okay. So oh, that's interesting. Yep. Scene transition. This is cool. So I guess this is part two or act two of the story. Okay. This is gonna get dicey. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Dang it, we didn't hear Furina sing. Dang it, indeed. If I understood correctly, oh. there are currently two problems in the kingdom that need solving, right? Yes. Exactly. We need to defeat the monsters outside the city and take down the evil sorcerer stirring up trouble from within. Mm hmm Hmm. But which problem should we tackle first? Hmm. Good question. Well, this seems like a good moment for a break. Take some time and discuss what you want to do. Let me know when you've made your decision. Okay. <sighs> I really didn't expect the people in the city to keep us at arm's length like that. I totally thought the hunters would be treated like heroes. I see Quasso? Quasso! <laughs> well, Clarence said the script took cues from the real history of Fontaine, right? Maybe the real-life Marochosei hunters were also treated like that. Hmm. <laughs> I see Quasso. Quasso? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a perfect representation of history, but there are definitely some similarities. Mm. Would you like to hear more about it? Uh, sure, I guess, yeah. But I would like some Quasso first, yes. <laughs> mm, sure. As long as it doesn't spoil anything in the script. You brought up bits and pieces of the hunter's history before, but it was all in passing. <laughs> Corn, uh, you cutie cutie doing that, please do not clip that. <laughs> God dang it, why did I do that? What's all? <laughs> God dang it. Paima wants to know too. The hunters were super powerful, right? Were they all from a special line of supernatural beings or something? Kind of like the yokai in Inazuma? Uh, 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 yeah. Huh? Uh, would they even know what a yokai in Inazuma is? They are like on the opposite sides of the world. What the heck? <laughs> Melts. <laughs> God dang it, Chris. <laughs> uh, no. All Marashose hunters were ordinary mortal fighters. The only thing that set them apart were the special sword techniques passed down over the centuries. Uh, fair. Huh? So you mean anyone could become a Marashose hunter? In theory, yes. All you would need to do is survive the rigorous training and master the swordsmanship techniques required to fight the monsters. I see. 
Still, most people dropped out at the early stages, and others called it quits the minute they saw a monster in person. To become a hunter, you must be strong in both body and mind. Makes sense, yeah. Very much so. For sure they knew that. I mean, there's books in there, surely they researched them. Yeah, fair. What kind of monsters did the hunters fight exactly? Oh, and the evil sorcerer the script mentions. Did they exist in real life too? Must be like the Abyss Mages or something. The Land of Fontaine once played host to an ancient dynasty known as Remuria. After that dynasty fell, monsters began to appear, intent on obstructing humans from establishing a new social order. Hmm. So Remuria is basically the one that we did in uh, 4.6, you know, in the Sea of Bygone Eras. One of the ancient sorcerers of Remuria used his power to assemble a formidable army of golems. He sought to use that force to establish himself as king. Hmm. Wait a second. Don't tell me that guy was the inspiration for the evil sorcerer in the script. We still haven't found any in-game information on him yet. So uh, why don't you talk about someone else for now? Hmm. There's no way she would do that. Well, I wasn't planning on going into anything you might be able to find out in the game. But if you want me to talk about something else, then... Uh, how about Cassiodor, the Golden Hunter? Or Egeria, the ex-Hydro Archon? Ooh. Wait, but those people are all from a super long time ago. Where did you learn all this, Clarion? From my master. I mean, it makes sense. She is one of the, you know, uh, Marachusi hunters, so, you know, yeah. Huh, by master, you mean Miss Petronia? Oh, is someone you know? Huh? Absolutely. Miss Petronia and my father were good friends. Oh. Back in the day, she would often bring Clorand over to play, but then... Oh. Uh, let's not get off topic. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay, yeah, sure. Responding to Egeria's call, a number of warriors followed Cassiodor into battle against the monsters. This group of warriors, under Cassiodor's leadership, became known as the Marachose Hunters. Yet, as Fontaine entered an era of peace... Their work gradually became obsolete. The Marachose Phantom, originally an association made up of hunters, eventually came to be predominantly comprised of Melusines. Wait, what? Huh? Uh, how did that... Uh, huh? Oh, wait, you're telling me... Wait, are you telling me that Melusines are now the Marachose Hunters? What the heck? <laughs> At the time, yes. Uh, water? Oh yeah, here's the water. Yes. <laughs> Ah, I see. That explains why most of the people in the script have forgotten the hunters or think of them as nothing more than a legend. Mm -hmm. Yes, Zishun is one of them. Wait, for real? Is it actually true? Oh. Is that really a bad thing, though? It can get tough always being the one shouldering everyone's expectations. Hmm, depends on who you ask, I suppose. If the name of the organization no longer commands respect, investigative work is bound to suffer. Mm, speaking of investigations, which problem should we tackle first? Monsters or evil sorcerer? Ooh, okay. Uh, just in my law, I mean she uses a gun. No, she uses a tranquilizer dart, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um... So here's the good question, which one should I solve first? Mm. I vote monsters. That's the main duty of the hunters, right? We can come back to the sorcerer later. That's true. Well said, Miss Farina. Plus, if the sorcerers really are the masterminds behind this whole thing, defeating the monsters could give us some clues on their intentions as well. Hmm. Hmm. What about you, partner? What do you think? Hmm. This is a good question now. Ooh. I actually want to see the sorcerer honestly but yeah i actually want to see the sorcerer uh see Schwinn has good aim better than chevreus and her gun is cuter that's not how it works <laughs> good aim does not <laughs> correspond to that <laughs> those factors but sure whatever and yes hello <laughs> um yeah, sorcerer is the problem. We might as well tackle the root of the problem, you know. That's how I always want to do it, you know. I mean, 
You're not wrong. But those characters are usually the ones pulling the strings behind the scenes. More often than not, they're very formidable opponents. Going after them now might be jumping the gun a little bit. Hmm, really? I mean, formidable foe or not, I don't care. I did that in Star Real, yes. <laughs> we don't want a total party kill on the first day, right? With Clorand as the GM, I wouldn't rule out the possibility. Well, god dang it. So, in the end, it didn't even matter. God dang it. <laughs> then it's settled. Let's go hunt some monsters. Well, I'm sad. <laughs> My choices didn't matter. Damn. All right. After some discussion, you decide to turn around and head out of the city. Okay. All right. Moving on. I have to see the Hello Melusine post either. I haven't seen it before. It's basically, it's basically the part where you know Melusine's uh, wave at you. Uh, they. They bow forward and wave at you, yes. Lean forward, I should say, yes. Lean forward and wave at you, yeah. That's what they do. Let's take a look around, like that guy said. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's all Korn's fault, not really. He's taking... <laughs> Why am I taking the blame? God dang it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's what eventually double their job doing different scenes depending on what you choose. Damn it! I'm sad. Well, you anyways. Oh, 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 oh. Halt. Oh, hi. <laughs> that was some... Okay, cool. Yes, uh, so of course your choice don't matter here. I wish there was more choices. God dang it. Wh who's there? An armored man approaches you. He has a tall, muscular build and a determined expression in his eyes. Just one look, and you can tell he's fought in his fair share of battles. Uh, hi. Although he's trying his best to conceal his current state... His uneven gait and the sweat dripping down his forehead make it obvious that he's been wounded and is in serious pain. Oh boy. I'm the captain of the guard. I saw you sneaking around the city earlier, so I'll only ask this once. State your purpose, or it's off to the dungeons for the lot of you. Uh, okay. Wow, it's been a while since someone's been this suspicious of us. Ten million years! Dungeon! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I, I don't think his I don't think Lemon Grab's voice is like that, but you know, that's my impression. <laughs> I will send you to vicious. <laughs> God dang it. Muscular Bill also voiced by Mickey. God dang it. <laughs> I wanna cry. Uh I said talk, not whisper between yourselves. Uh, uh <clears throat> Have you ever heard of the Marchese Hunters? Marcha say Hunters? Ha! <laughs> that fairy tale, you mean? What, do you expect me to believe you're one of them? Yes, literally Linny is wearing the artifacts of the Marchese Phantoms, so, you know, yeah. Anyways, um... Uh... I like my medicine check to see if I can help him. Yeah, I think it's helpful. Eight. Okay, sure. Please. Fuck! <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> the sun! No! Damn. Unfortunate. Wait, what? Oh. With what? some suspicion, the captain allows you to survey his condition after you announce yourself as a trained doctor. <laughs> My ear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, so is it just me or uh, Corin here is doing British accent? I think she's more doing more French accent, I guess. I'm sorry for that one. Unfortunately, you're unable to adequately assess the source of his injury, much less come up with a way to relieve his pain. Man, imagine I, if I get a critical failure. <laughs> I'm sorry. My skills are a little rusty. Oh boy. Well, this is no ordinary wound. It was inflicted by a monster. Now tell me, are you truly a Marachose hunter? It's a FNAF moment. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> he regards you with suspicion for quite some time before shaking his head. Perhaps he's finally accepted that you're here to help. Well, I, I guess that worked out better than I hoped for. <sighs> Sir, we were indeed in the city earlier, but our purpose was only to gather information on the monsters. We're here to help this city and all the people within it. 
Your guards are still fighting the monsters as we speak. They could be seriously wounded and in grave need of support. You need all the help you can get. Okay. Oh, okay, she's the one playing. Okay, right. <laughs> wow, that is really good, honestly. Nearly a critical success. The man regards you with doubt and concern. After a period of inner struggle, he lets out a long sigh and informs you of the locations where the monsters have appeared. Mm -mm. Some of our new recruits have never even dealt with a petty thief, and now they're out there fighting monsters. Ugh, if it weren't for this cursed leg. Oh, please, sir. Don't get too worked up. You need to focus on your recovery. Just leave the monsters to us. We're Marshose hunters, after all. Mm -hmm. Hearing you say that, a glimmer of hope flashes in his eyes. But it disappears almost as quickly as it came. Those monsters aren't easy to deal with. But if you insist on going, I won't stop you either. Mm. I just hope all the guards will be able to come back to their families alive. I wish you the best of luck. Mm. Right. Based on what the captain said, the monsters should be right up ahead. Mm. Let's yeah. go. Hopefully we're not too late. Yes, indeed. I can't configure, okay, that's fair enough. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see. As oh, you hi. approach the battlefield, you see numerous people lying by the side of the road. They appear to be dressed like guards. Hmm. Their faces are filled with desperation and terror. Some are screaming and cursing in vain as if still trying to banish the monstrosities they saw from their minds. Literally, chat, what I did just now. <laughs> Literally just <laughs> said, fuck, <laughs> very loudly, and they are gone. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Curse. Fuck. <laughs> okay, what is A few on? of the wounded look up at you in shock and disbelief. Oh. Huh? Quick, leave this place. Turn around and don't look back. They yell. <laughs> I wanna cry. <laughs> yes, I indeed. Same too. Are they gonna disappear? Hi. Okay. Oh! Okay. Video game? This is not FNAF. What is going on? Am I actually playing FNAF Loki? Because this is getting very much FNAF territory right now. What happened to them? Uh, God dang it. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Ooh, wait, what? Wait, I don't recognize this area, question mark. Wait, I need to check. I need to check this place in in the actual game. Uh This is the place he mentioned, right? Uh yeah, I guess. You see broken iron swords scattered all around you and downed trees riddled with terrifying claw marks. Interesting. Corn curse. I'm sure Corn is a nice changeling. He would never use profanity. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, fine nights at Furina's, fine night in the Furina's, it's according to corn across. I'm sorry you don't get this joke. Oh god, <laughs> damn it. All the signs point to one thing. A truly devastating battle just took place here. Mm. Be on your guard, everyone. The monsters might still be around. Before you can finish your sentence, you hear rustling sounds from the surrounding bushes. The monsters have emerged. I hate these guys. They close in on you without fear. You get the impression that, in their bloodthirsty eyes, you're just another meal for them to devour. Uh oh. Ah! A little help here! This thing wants to eat my mind! <laughs> Your battle round begins now. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm actually checking. Oh, okay, that was good. But uh, do we actually fight though? 
So what? We get buffs? <gasps> Woo! We get buffs! Feeling lucky? Attack! The next battle round oh. begins now. I'm so sorry. Ja, the you monsters guys. let out a terrifying roar of anger and resentment before dissipating into thin air. Ja, I swear, I swear Marina did not get hit there. Okay. If you saw her get hit, uh, you You're in the wrong samsara right now. I will assure you of that. Anyways. <laughs> Thank goodness it's over. <laughs> We're lucky the Marashose Hunter class came with all those preset skill points. Otherwise, we would have been in some real trouble. <laughs> yeah. I never knew the Phytometer even determines the amount of damage you inflict. Hmm. If you get unlucky, isn't it just game over right then and there? No, Furina. The answer for that is actually... Spiral Abyss. <laughs> Five Nights at Chords. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Please, Chris. <laughs> Anyways, you're in the wrong Samsara. Get out here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's part of the fun. The uncertainty of fate is what gives these games their appeal. Mm -hmm. I just realized I have no healers in this team. Do I? Wait, technically Furina is the healer, but eh, you know. Just as you begin to celebrate your victory, a suspicious lump on the ground catches your attention. Huh? A suspicious lump? Wait, could it be the thing that appears after every battle? Uh, it's it's called loot and loot drops? Question mark? Tech W? I walk up to it, crouch down, and. Begin to carefully examine it. <laughs> I've still got my right glove on, so it should be fine for me to touch it, right? Uh. As you investigate the mound, you discover that the exposed portion appears to be made of wood. It was previously obscured by the large form of the monsters. With the monsters gone, the small protrusion now awaits your discovery, poking out of the ground like a shy flower bud. Whoa, it's a treasure chest! Huh? Okay. Uh, sure. Wait, huh? Um, uh, sure? Question mark? Wait, I need to check this location in real life. This is concerning. Not in real life, but like in the actual game world. You know what I mean? Yeah. With everyone's help, you successfully excavate the wooden chest from the ground. Okay. Even without opening it. You can tell from the mora and jewels scattered around the chest that it must contain quite the fortune. Hmm. Makes sense. We worked hard for this. Let's open it. We can share what's inside. Uh. <laughs> I can understand your excitement, Paimon, but think about it. Doesn't it seem like there are people out there who need this treasure more than us? Uh, then he's asking like game breaking question because we never think about this. We just loot. <laughs> we just loot in this game. Yeah. Think about all the people suffering in the capital. Or all those guards who got hurt fighting the monsters. Wouldn't it be better if we gave the treasure to them? I mean, yeah, sure. Wait, is that how it works? Paimon thought since we were the ones to dig it up, we could just take it for ourselves. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Any decision you make during a role-playing game can impact the future course of the story. Mm -hmm. But would the people really believe us? It's hard enough for us to prove we're Marsha Say Hunters. What if they think we procured the treasure illegally? They might get even more suspicious of us. I, uh... Hmm... I mean, that's true, but... Uh... That's definitely something we should consider. Maybe we can come up with an explanation in advance. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. 
Look at that, Chad. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I like the little pin on Linny. I wish we can keep this. Well, if donating it could cause that much trouble, why don't we use it to buy some gear and fill up on good food? Then we'll be ready to fight even more bad guys. <laughs> Looks like you're facing a difficult choice once again. Well, darn. <clears throat> well, it's getting late. Why don't we call it a day for now? Okay. Wow. Where did the time go? Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, I like this. Chad, I like this little pins on, on the characters. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's because I'm having so much fun with you oh, all or because the story is particularly enticing, but I feel like I could almost keep going. Yes, indeed. I think I would too, yes. I love that he's still smoking, af uh, smoking hot after an hour. I'm pretty sure they're not here just for an hour. They're like, he they're here for like half a day. And stuff, or something. Here, here. <laughs> Ooh, how about we play through the night? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, um, I'm not sure I'll have enough energy for that. <laughs> <laughs> Must be some good tea. I don't think any good tea will be able to last that much, that sh that long with that much heat in them. But yeah. Yeah, that won't work for me either. Lynette will give me an earful if I get home too late. Uh, I wanna cry. Linny actually is me. Oh my god, I wanna cry. I wanna cry. I wanna cry. I wanna cry. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> anyway. I understand how you feel, Navia. But we have to change venues for the next part of the story anyway. Oh, uh, cool. Huh? Another location? Hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a special note for the GM at the end of this section that says to proceed to an indoor set for the next part of the script. Okay. Whoa! They really pulled out all the stops for this new script. Hmm. Then that's you an idiot, brother. I wanna cry. <laughs> I hate everything. Well, even if we end the game for the day, we can still stay story, right? Mm. Prima wants to hear more about the history of the hunters. Yeah, that too. Hmm. Something tells me you just want to finish the free desserts before we break for the day. <laughs> I mean, Furina, don't act like you're not gonna do the same, okay? You are definitely gonna do the same thing. That's just a coincidence, okay? Besides, the Paimon not finishing free food feels even worse than having to buy your own. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but there's so much wood left. There's no way anyone's gonna let that go to waste, right? This is this is a lot of food. Like, I don't... If this part wasn't here, I would say they should be able to finish them. But, like, this part looks really big. Oh, my gosh. And anyway, Paima really does want to hear more about Cloran's master. Yes, that too. Well... Hmm... If the story doesn't have an happy ending, it's okay not to finish it. Uh, it's nothing. I appreciate the concern, but it's all in the past. It won't do any harm to share these things now. Okay. Hmm. My earliest memories are of living with Master. According to her, she saved me from certain people of ill repute. <laughs> My birth parents had left me behind some time before that. Huh. What? <sighs> what a heavy beginning for a life story. Huh. So, really? Master was a fascinating individual. If inexperienced in the ways of raising children. My first ever toy was a short sword. Although I suppose it wasn't so much a toy as something Master removed from her waist and handed to a noisy child in need of distraction. Oh, okay. I see. That's technically a s uh, small weapon. Oh, wait. So she handed an actual sword to a child? Isn't that dangerous? Did you hurt yourself? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I, I find it funny that Furina's concerned about this. Of course I did. I cut my palm and bled quite a lot. Oh. But Master was not concerned. She just stood there and casually lectured me about it. Uh, huh? Huh? Okay. Sure. 
give it to the fortress of my rope. He Karenko's there. A good starter fights with a dull blade. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, Karen has a dull blade. Up until I switch out for her, you know, uh, better for a better weapon, and I hope to get her a signature weapon too. So yeah. See, that's what you get for not holding the sword properly. She told me. She then crouched down next to me and said, "Give me your hand. I'll teach you to bandage this wound. After that, it's time to learn how to truly hold a blade." Oh, okay. Excuse me for asking this, Clorand, but how old were you exactly when all this happened? Mm. Probably around um, three, give oh. or take. Oh my gosh. Uh, three? Uh, Isn't that when most kids are still struggling to hold a fork? That is very true. <laughs> I'm surprised Marina gave the exact uh, saying because I don't know why. I remember she says fork here, but then again, it's also Boot Hill, so you know, whatever. As I said, Master was rather inexperienced in the ways of raising children. Mm. She believed trial and error was the best way to teach a child what they're capable of. I think I can understand why. Uh, I can understand why she would think that way. Yeah. Okay. I'm not so sure this is a question of experience. <laughs> That is technically also true, yes. <laughs> she trained to be a fighter at three, yes, apparently. I didn't see anything wrong with her ways at the time. And anyway, children don't get to choose how they're raised. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did bring me back a pet from Liyue once. Huh? It was a Geo Bishop hatchling. Uh, 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 wait, huh? A Geo Bishop hatchling? For a pet? That seems even more dangerous! I have so many questions! What is her master even trying to do? <laughs> what she said was this. Make sure to get along, you two. If you really can't agree on something, just settle it with a fight. Whoever loses is the real pet. Huh? Okay. Uh, and how old were you when this happened? This makes no sense! Five. <laughs> I want to cry, Chad. What? This, this is like uh, 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 negative points for. This is like zero points for parenting. What the heck? <laughs> zero points. Next. <laughs> well, did you win? No, I lost. Huh? Oh, okay. So you're saying. You actually became the Geo Bishop's pet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but only for a week. By mm. the end of that week, I defeated it in combat, and we've shared a cordial relationship ever since. Huh. Okay, I'm surprised both of them got along well. That really doesn't sound like the kind of childhood someone should have. <laughs> Says Rina. <laughs> I don't think Rina should make this judgment. <laughs> Later on, I gradually understood that Master most likely didn't know any other way to raise a child. Mm. She was a Mara Shose hunter, but I never heard her bring up her own parents. I see. It's Ishtaha. There is no way. <laughs> no way. I do not believe you. Thanks to her, I learned how to navigate the forest by the age of six and could hunt monsters in the wild by myself the year after that. Holy shit, at six? What the heck? Rina is more than qualified to make that statement considering what she went through. I mean, that's also true, but she, she doesn't have a childhood, quote-unquote, I think. Even though the training she subjected me to was strict, she always made sure to take me traveling when she had the time. We met many of her friends during those days. That was also how I met Mr. Callus and his family. Oh, that's cool. Huh, I see. <laughs> I still remember the first time we met. You were too scared to join our picnic and hid behind Miss Petronia the whole time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I still hadn't really met many children my age at that time, so I didn't know how to interact with others. So, by the time Corren is six so she said that uh navia's around her age at the time so technically they both have about the same age plus minus one or two years i guess that's interesting 
Uh, I mean, I think she's once been a mini ocean nip before, uh, bef before back then. I guess I don't know, man. After that, though, you started coming over a lot. You love challenging people to shooting competitions, remember? Hmm. I don't think many members of the Spina ever beat you in one of those. Huh, okay. I had a lot of fun during those days. Aww. <laughs> I enjoyed them too. Oh, do you remember that one time we went exploring around the Spina together? We overheard Papa call your master Fontaine's Protector of Justice. Hmm. We tried to pretend like we never heard anything, but you nearly let it slip that one time. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Protector of justice? Oh, wait, you mean that vigilante hero from 20 years ago? The one who was always active at night? Hmm. <laughs> yep, that <laughs> would be her. She often would put on a black cloak and go out at night. Hmm. I never knew where she went or what she was doing. Until, like Navia said, we overheard the truth from Mr. Callus that night. Oh, wait, so must, her master is literally Batman. Okay, cool. That's nice. I feel that uh, she's the same childhood. Like, Klee, go do bombs. <laughs> God dang it. 20 years ago, huh? I still remember the guards leaving all kinds of witness reports about her at Nervalette's desk. Huh. Uh... My apologies. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, <laughs> there's no need to apologize. You had nothing to do with it. And anyway, everything she did was for a good cause. <laughs> Although, calling herself the protector of order was a bit much. Especially when she deliberately operated outside the law. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Like, Kenneth Klee is a knight of the Fulvanius at the age of seven, while Noel, uh, <laughs> never mind. Huh? When did the Protector of Justice become the Protector of Order? Huh? Yeah, indeed. Oh, she had a bunch of code names. I heard she would just come up with a name on the spot whenever she was asked. Oh, okay. Later on, she probably got sick of answering those questions and decided to stick to just two. The Protector of Justice... And the Protector of Order. I see. That sounds like her, all right. I bet she forgot which of the two she'd use by the time she got back each night. <laughs> Fair. Imagine one is the Protector of Corn. No. <laughs> well, she certainly sounds like a fascinating individual. With her strong sense of justice, it's no surprise her student followed in her footsteps. Mm -hmm. It's true. I always wanted to become like her. Someone powerful, independent, and with a strong sense of conviction. But... Mm -hmm. But... Hmm. Disappeared one night, yes. She suddenly disappeared the night I turned <laughs> ten years old. <laughs> Never mind, I was only throwing that out. I did not realize she actually disappeared one night. <laughs> okay, uh, sure, okay. Disappeared? What happened? Hmm. I have no idea. She didn't even leave a note. Hmm. I was never able to find out where she went. Hmm. I see. That night, I was celebrating my birthday at Navia's house. Hmm. But Master never came to pick me up. Oh. When I returned home on my own, it was to an empty house. What the heck? Alright, I'm done my part as a parent, say bye bye, have a great time. <laughs> what the heck? There is no way she just left. When she still didn't appear after a few days, I went to Mr. Callis's house to ask about her whereabouts, but he only shook his head. Oh. Papa probably didn't know either. I know he sent a few people to investigate the matter in secret, but they never found any credible leads. Holy moly. That is really heartbreaking. Don't worry, I understand. To be perfectly honest, given Master's personality and way of doing things, it all made a lot of sense. Mm. If I had to guess, I'd say she probably used it as an opportunity to force me to become independent. I mean, that is one way to put it, but also, goddamn. <sighs> Just like how, when a litter of kittens reaches a certain age, the mother willingly leaves them behind. Were... Were you upset, Clorand? 
I was at first, but not anymore. I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. Hmm. Well, despite everything, you still managed to follow in her footsteps and become the greatest champion duelist in all of Fontaine. You're practically a living symbol of law and justice. Hmm. <laughs> I suspect my position would be far too by the books for her. Master always did whatever she pleased. But you're right. I suppose I do take after her in some ways. Hmm. <sighs> Who knew Clorand had such an interesting past? I never had the chance to ask her about it before. Yeah. I wonder if Clorand's master were the champion duelist back then. Would that duel against Mr. Callus have gone differently? Hmm. Oh no. Judging by the atmosphere, Clorand and Navia are probably thinking something similar. The mood just got super awkward all of a sudden. Oh boy. Oh. Well, anyway. Huh. Uh, would you look at the time? It's getting dark, so we should probably call it a day for real this time. Hmm. If we keep talking like this, we really will be here all night. Yeah, fair. I had a great time today, Miss Clorant. Thank you for being our GM. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Yes. The script was good, but I've got to say, your childhood stories were even better. <laughs> hey, you should tell us more about that fight against the Geo Bishop sometime. Maybe your master was on to something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You could be right. <laughs> what does she mean, on to something? Hmm. I certainly don't know any five-year-olds who want to fight a bishop in their spare time. <laughs> Again, Furina with this double personality thing. I don't understand what they're going with for this one, honestly. I mean, it's cool, but like, also, not for FNAF. <laughs> but still, a bit, uh... I mean, I'm just questioning, that's all. <laughs> Crust. <laughs> That's cool. For <laughs> noob. Uh... Guess I'll head back as well. I need to save my energy if I want to continue enjoying the story tomorrow. Yes, indeed. You're that excited to hear about my fight with the bishop? Yes, in a way. I was talking <laughs> about the script. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <sighs> Gosh, that is so funny, honestly. Oh, they're still here. Okay. Wait, where is where where are my two favorite characters? Excuse me. Uh Okay. Also, that those two crabs look very familiar. Those two crabs look very familiar. Hmm. Yes. Indeed very familiar. Anyway. Um just between the two of us, could you tell me what it was like to be the Geo Bishop's pet? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> it was nothing special, really. Geo Bishops don't understand the concept of a pet. So basically, it just headbutted me whenever I entered its territory. Okay. And that hurt? <laughs> yeah, it hurt. What, something you want to experience for yourself? Uh. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. Anywho. Um. Yeah. Where are the rest of the guys? I can't believe they just up and left. But yeah. Can I have these food? Oh. Uh. They're, they're half consumed. Never mind. Also. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Have a great time, you two. Uh. Yeah. I guess that's it. Okay. Right. I need to go to. Uh, yeah, the Whispering Woods, right, yeah. You can't- then you casually see Farina just walking on water. <laughs> and walking on the water way back home. <laughs> that is funny. They need just the disappearing act. <laughs> God dang it, Chris. <sighs> well, I mean, yeah, fair. Oh, what in the world? Oh, hi. I can't be bothered right now. Why are you in front of my... Ah, uh, god damn it. 
Oh, there it is. Uh, no, leave. Leave. I do not want to fight you guys. Also, the chest was here just now. Okay, can you not? Okay. They just died one shot. That's cool. Yeah, they just died one shot. That's cool. That's really cool. I'll take that. Don't tell me it's... That's no way it's here, right? Uh... Nope. Okay, not here. Or here? Yeah. Like, we were fighting the guy here, right? This was the entrance that we saw just now. Where was the ruin? It should be here, but like... Eh, I don't see anything. Wait! Oh! It's really not... Okay. Adventurer, you. I was not expecting you. Okay, so I guess it's actually nothing. I guess? Question mark? It's like... It's an exclusive one? No, I mean, I'm just looking through to see if the hole exists. Yes, the hole does exist. I just did not expect there's a guy there. So, where was the other place that we fought just now? Like, it was more... Uh, I don't know. It was more... I actually don't know where we fought just now. Like, we were fighting in a w wider area just now. But, I don't see... Anything. But, uh... Well, never mind. I guess I'll just leave. Oh, yeah, I actually do want that in front of me, yes. Or maybe it's here. Nah, I can't be here. Alright, let's just wait for tomorrow. Yeah. What time was it? Eight? Was it eight? Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, boy. But yeah, um... <laughs> God, current story is weird. Her childhood, I mean. Let's go meet up with the group. Paimon's really looking forward to today's story. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Oh, all the way here. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Honor. I thought it's buried horror. <laughs> it would be funny if it's actually buried horror because we were talking so much about FNAF. A fanoof, you know. <laughs> uh, that is funny. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Man, Lenny is actually broken. Like, my Lenny is broken. There we go. Yes. Fanoof. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's see what the deal is today. Um, or something, I guess. Where are we? Uh... Uh, okay. Wait, are these bad guys? Yes, there's a bad guy here. Cool. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? Wait, wait... Oh, hi! Okay, this is the game venue. What in the world? Okay... That's odd. Uh, huh? Huh? What? <laughs> Lenny's broken, I can hear- No, shush! I do not want your heels, Adrian! Oh, this looks cool. Ah. Oh. Looks like everyone's here. Oh. Now, before we begin, why don't we finish where we left off yesterday? There was an important decision to be made, yes? I'll pour everyone a cup of tea. Fire strike on Liza Dart. That doesn't heal. <laughs> that doesn't heal anyone. Uh, is that really the most important part, though, Clarion? Paimon's more concerned about our current surroundings. Hmm. I would say the same. Heavy walls, cold railings, dim lights. This is obviously supposed to be a prison. <laughs> I admire the work put into the set. Still, it's obvious the scriptwriter has never paid a visit to the fortress of Maripede. That too, yes. 
It shuts him up so we can heal him. No, shush! I will protect my boy. You shall not track him. So this set is going to be a part of the script? Unfortunately, that is something I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, anyone think Cloran's smile is starting to look kind of scary? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, whatever happens, we'll just have to push on. But first, we should really figure out what to do with this treasure. Indeed. I mean, I can track you. No, please, don't track me either. Turns around, turns him into tagged and begged. <laughs> no. Stop. Stop killing my boy. Or tracking my boy. Look at him. He's cute, Chad. You cannot track this guy. He's so cute. <laughs> if we're worried about arousing suspicion because of our identity, why don't we give ourselves a different name, just like Clarence Master did? Huh? Yeah, it might be better to keep a low profile. As long as we're helping people, it doesn't matter who we are or what we're called. Oh, trying some harder. He's charming. I like his eyes, but he's not cute to me. He's cute to me, okay? He's literally me, for real, for real. Um. <laughs> Staring at me won't get you anywhere. Or did you want some more tea? Uh, tea, maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Paimon's intimidated. <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything, Navia? Wait, what's that next to you? Huh? Oh, this is the short sword Cloran mentioned last night. I found it. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Uh, It's only because we like you that we are only using tranks on not bullets. We, we could just let Corin have him. Corin would not kill someone unless... You know, unless, you know, of course, uh, Linny wants to go into a duel with her. And obviously, Linny would not, because that would be dumb. So, yeah. Huh. I'm surprised you managed to track it down after all this time. Hmm? Well, I made sure to take good care of it, considering the circumstances in which you gave it to me. Of course, I had to keep it safe. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, where were we? Oh, right. I was just thinking about all the potential ways for us to break out of prison. We could dig a tunnel, or try to bribe the guards. Uh... Wait, we haven't been thrown into prison yet, have we? Uh... Well, it's only a matter of time. It pays to be prepared. Just like how you should always have an umbrella on hand, even when it's sunny. Uh, okay. Sure. Yes. Paimon may have wanted to keep it, but if it's going to land us in prison somehow, Paimon will be too upset to enjoy her snacks. <laughs> Paimon's a de developing as a character. <laughs> so, you've reached an agreement? All right then, we can continue with the story. Okay. Oh, and we'll collect all the scattered pieces of treasure on the ground as well. Mm -hmm. All right. You collect the treasure and make your way back to the capital with your bag of loot in hand. All right. All right, back into the game once again. Yes. Oh, boy. I carry a Twilight Sparker umbrella. The city is still shrouded in a gloomy, oppressive atmosphere, but your spirits are surprisingly high. I carry a Twilight Sparker umbrella or Kuromi umbrella. Yeah, uh, I know exactly where to get the ladder. Okay, cool. I don't know where to get either of them, so that's cool for me. <laughs> and to be honest, I can't be bothered anyway. <laughs> so yeah. In places where sunlight struggles to reach, you generously share your wealth with the children, the elderly, and the poor in urgent need of help. Oh, so this is... Oh, so this is why... The characters are in Mondstadt. That makes so much sense now. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Thank you, kind soul. Hi. 
The elderly woman's look of gratitude follows you as you walk away, her eyes never leaving your back until you move entirely out of sight. However, there's still quite a bit of Mora remaining. It appears you haven't made much progress. Mm. <sighs> She's probably trying to tell us to speed this up. We need to hurry up so we can address the sorcerer problem. Yes, indeed. Should we go find that man again at the square? He seemed like a pretty responsible guy. I'm sure he knows the people here far better than us. Yes. Oh, good idea! Just as you start to make way to the square, intent on finding the man again, there's a voice. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, something. Okay, I don't get to s Oh, Corinne's making a check. Oh. Oh, what the- Uh, oh, um, hi. Um. Please wait, distinguished guests. Uh, okay. I thought we were in trouble, but I guess, I don't know. Internet, uh, back to Fanoof. Internet cons search hard enough. I, I can't be bothered, honestly. I, I'm not really into these type of merch. And so things when and you probably will have to clear your browser history. Eh, I don't care. That is cool, Several but... Several strange guards suddenly call out to you. They run forward to meet you and proceed to politely pay their respects. Okay. Greetings, gentlemen. Are we being invited for afternoon tea? <laughs> That's one way to say it. Surely you jest, my lady. That would not be our place. It is His Excellency the King who requests to meet with you. Please come with us. Okay. Sure, I guess. Oh boy, another tall man voiced by Mickey. Ha ha! <laughs> would you like some tea, my dear boy? Hmm. <laughs> Do you think this could be a trap? I would think so, yeah. Well, we have to investigate the court at some point, right? Meeting the king himself would be a fantastic opportunity to do that. Mm. I say we go for it. If something happens, we'll just turn the whole place upside down. Mm. Uh, that sounds a little intense. Well, we can definitely fight. I don't see that as a problem. After a quick discussion, you nod to the guards and agree to follow. They lead you all the way to the audience hall of the palace. Gilded tables line both sides of the hall. The space itself is adorned with all manner of expensive antiques, glass shelves, and silver candlesticks. Ooh, ooh. The items appear quite ordinary in size and dimension, hmm. yet their presence somehow makes the emptiness of the hall feel even more surreal and ominous. Hmm. Wow, it's so luxurious! The elderly king, clad in a magnificent robe, sits upon the deep crimson throne before you. He wears above his head a majestic crown, with a gemstone the size of a bird's egg set right at the very front. As you observe it, you see a complex pattern of light reflect off its surface. Ahem. They're here, your majesty. Okay. A man dressed in dark clothes, likely a minister, shields his mouth with his hands and bends down to whisper a few words to the king. After a moment, he lowers his hands and stands back up. His gaze shifts to fixate on your group, but he does not move from his place at the king's side. The king does not appear entirely aware of his surroundings. The man by his side, though. We should keep a close eye on him. Yes. The king remains still and says nothing. The minister is the one who speaks. Okay. Esteemed guests, allow me to thank you for coming to our faraway kingdom. Unfortunately, His Majesty the King finds himself quite exhausted from work. Mm. So please allow me, his Prime Minister, to welcome you in his stead. Yes, hi. I've heard tell that your group, the Marachose Hunters, used your exceptional ability with the sword to repel the monsters near the capital. Such a great deed deserves to be rewarded. Uh. However, seeing that I was not fortunate enough to observe such a feat with my own eyes, you'll forgive me for seeking to verify the truth by speaking to you myself. Well, we've got nothing to hide. You brought us here to talk, right? So we'll just explain what happened. The golem's blades 
were so powerful, they could cut down trees in a single swipe. It took uh. a lot of effort to defeat them, even for trained swordsmen like us. Well, that was enough details, right? Believe us now? Uh. Hmm. Your account does indeed match those of the survivors. Since you were the ones who defeated the monsters, that must mean you are also in possession of the treasure they stole? Uh, well... Well, <laughs> we did take the treasure, but... How did he know about the treasure? Oh yeah, how did he know about the treasure? Ah, then I must ask that you return it at once. It belongs to the kingdom. Well, we gave it out to random, so you know, yeah. Wait. Didn't you just say that our great deed deserved a reward? Shouldn't the treasure be considered a part of that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that was indeed what I said. But you seem to have forgotten a very important distinction. Oh? Only that which is freely given by the king can be considered a reward. Taking the rightful wealth of a kingdom without said permission, on the other hand, is a crime. Okay, this is dumb. This is really, really dumb. Are you kidding me? But that's completely unreasonable. Yeah, that makes no sense. If it weren't for us, the treasure would still be buried underground somewhere. Maybe so, yet the fact remains. You tried to dispose of the treasure without reporting it to the court and without receiving permission, yes? What in the world? Um... That is dumb. What? No answer? Surely you're not insinuating that you, a group of legendary Marashuse hunters, sought to take the treasure for yourselves? Uh... I... Well, what about the king? Is he just gonna let this guy talk for him the whole time? Yeah. Clad in his magnificent robe, the king remains seated, with his hands resting on either side of the throne. His posture is rigid and unmoving. He stares forward with an empty look in his eyes, completely unmoved by the events before him. Mm. <sighs> From the look of things, could the Prime Minister be the evil sorcerer? Or could both the King and the Prime Minister have fallen under the evil sorcerer's control? Mm. I fear that the King is dead already. In a way, yes, but he moves, so technically he's not dead yet. I would say he's on his last breath or something. Or maybe he's just being controlled by the sorcerer, so you know, yeah. I would like to observe the number of guards stationed in the hall. The guards in the palace appear fully armed, their expressions solemn. Sensing the tense atmosphere in the room, they stand at the ready each with a hand placed upon the hilt of their sword, as if prepared to draw their weapons and surround you at a moment's notice. Oh, God. Well, there goes my plan to turn the whole place upside down, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. It appears we've been visited by nothing more than a group of ill-intentioned imposters. What a pity. God, take them away and throw them in the dungeons. Ten million years dungeon! <laughs> Before I decide your fate, however, I must first determine whether you have any accomplices outside the court. W what? Can't we try to slip away? Or maybe start some kind of riot? I mean, Lenny can make the check. But if we try to fight the guards right now... Don't worry. At least we figured out who's behind all this. Let's just play it by ear. If you're scared, Paimon, just hold my hand. You can have my hand too, Paimon. Aw, thanks, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good, you're finally awake. <laughs> God dang it. You allow yourself to be led away by guards surrounding you on both sides. Mm. It's only when you begin to feel drops of water falling from the dungeon ceiling and smell the stench of death and decay all around you that you finally realize you've stepped into a completely different world. Mm. Stay here. And don't try anything funny. Well, okay. The guards lock the cell door and leave without looking back. Wait, sir! Oh boy. Your voice echoes through the dark hall, but the only response you receive is the sound of water dripping from the ceiling. No! What should we do now? 
carve out a new path of fate with our own two hands, of course. I draw my weapon. Uh, wait. You reach toward your waist, but find nothing there. You now recall that your weapons were confiscated before the guards locked you in the cell. The bag of treasure along with them. Mm. Uh, what about that knife I hid in my boot? Huh? When did you hide it in there? Uh... Okay, Th this one, this one is a bit, uh, annoying. <laughs> I got so many questions. When I was thinking about digging a tunnel. Huh? Rejected. You failed to inform the GM of this course of action. Moreover, the guards would have conducted a thorough search before throwing you in prison. Yeah, this... <laughs> Denied. <laughs> that was funny. And the keys to the cell aren't anywhere to be seen? Correct. You don't even feel a lock hole on the cell door. Oh, darn. Oh, well, there goes all our plans. Indeed. <laughs> huh? Why are you the one saying indeed? Indeed? Because that statement holds true for me as well. This is where the script ends. What? That was short. What? That, that's a terrible ending! <laughs> also, Eddie will be fangirling because in the boots. Of course, of course. Hmm. Generally speaking, this should be the point where the scriptwriter gives the players some kind of hint. Or gives the GM some kind of code for how to move forward. Elio, chat is Elio. Elio would have actually given some hints. <laughs> because, you know, Starreal, Stellaron Hunters, yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe they just really wanted us to be immersed in the feeling of being in prison? Like, they'll only show us the way out once we've grown truly and utterly desperate? Uh, hmm. That is a possibility. Wait, is there a chance where we are actually currently being locked in right now? Like, actually right now, right now? Wait, what if this is actually a prison? What? Wait, now I'm getting a bit sus now. <sighs> if only there were desserts and tea in real prison. Oh, wait, guess it's kind of how the Fortress of Meripede works if you're lucky. Uh. Oh, before I forget, Navia, the short sword you had with you earlier. Uh. I took a closer look, and the craftsmanship doesn't appear to resemble anything from this era. If I remember correctly, that style was last in vogue several hundred years ago. Oh my god, this is an actual relic then. Oh my gosh. Wait, Cloran said that sword used to belong to her master, right? Does that mean her master has been alive that long? I don't think that makes sense, though. Eh? Stellarod and Marachusi. <laughs> I mean, eh? I don't know. I doubt it. The way she went about things often made her seem childish more than anything. Mm -hmm. I'd say the sword was most likely an heirloom passed down over time. Hmm, interesting. Uh, hang on. A precious heirloom passed down to you by your master. And you gave it to me just like that? You weren't worried I might lose it? Master left many things to me when she disappeared. Mm. There was the sword, an old key, and a good amount of junk she probably just didn't want to take with her. Mm. I gave you the sword back then because I didn't want our friendship to end. Huh? Wait, when did this happen exactly? Yes, exactly. That's my question. <laughs> hmm. I assume... After the duel. Between Mr. Callus and myself. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Oh boy. Yikes. Before that, Clorand would have meals with us and even stay over at the Spina some days. She was on great terms with Papa as well. After the duel, though, there was a period of time where we simply didn't know how to face each other. She entrusted the sword to me, and never came back. <laughs> we were both sad, and conflicted, and totally overthinking everything as a result. <laughs> I mean, in the way, yeah. Whenever I looked at the sword, I couldn't help but wonder if Miss Petronia had never introduced us to each other at that picnic. Maybe part of the sadness I was feeling could have been avoided. Mm. 
That is true. Back then, it felt like I hadn't just lost a father, but a close friend as well. No one can change the past. The most important thing is that you two found your way back to each other and can enjoy things like this together. Yep, you're right. I'm sorry, you two. I didn't mean to bring up any sad memories. <laughs> Think nothing of it. No one here is at fault. Okay, I knew it, chat. I got it. This is not just a prison for us, but actual prison for the whole crew also. Uh, oh boy. Huh? This is great. So it's an actual, actual prison. Oh my god, there is no way, right? Oh, looks like the next part of our script is here. Oh, 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 huh? Wait, huh? Okay, that was not expected. <sighs> Perfect timing. The situation was really starting to get desperate. And not just because of the prison thing. Uh... From Clarence's face, Paimon really can't tell if it's good news or bad news. It speaks to her professionalism as a senior GM. <laughs> Maintaining a poker face makes a true skill. <laughs> Takes true skill. Why is po poker face is such... Oh my god, I want to cry. Hmm. Such an old term at this point. Oh my gosh. Water continues to drip from the ceiling. In this lightless dungeon, you lack a reliable way to tell how much time has passed. Mm, true. Eventually, you get used to the unpleasant odor of straw, mold, and rust, and find yourselves alternating between fits of drowsiness and despair. Mm. Suddenly, you hear footsteps outside the door. Heads up, everyone. Someone's coming. Gather close, everyone, and keep your voice down. Oh. Oh, hi. Um, I'm actually playing this. I'm surprised. And also, why is this music playing? This makes no sense. Oh, wow. This is a huge cell. What? This is such a huge prison, though, so, honestly. No. Okay. Who are you? I work as a guard in these dungeons, but my true identity is the same as your own. I'm also a Mar Chose hunter. Really? Huh? Shh. I've already sent away the other guards. But if we make too much noise... Mm. Wait, this doesn't sound like Koren. What? Wait. This actually doesn't sound like Koren. Who's playing this guard then? I understand, but how can we be sure we can trust you? The king has issued a formal decree. In light of the irrefutable proof of your crime, you're to be executed before tomorrow's sunrise. If you want to escape, it has to be now. Okay. Uh, executed? We barely did anything! <laughs> For now with execution, I wanna cry. Monsters appearing at the same location as the treasure. Could this entire thing have been a trap? Yes, indeed. There will be time for speculation once we're out of here. As for my identity, I have no way to prove that to you just yet. Infiltrating the capital was difficult, and finding a chance to speak with you has taken a lot out of me. I could go on, but I think we can all agree that now is not the time for details. Hmm, agree. Well, it doesn't look like we have any other choice, then. Have you seen our weapons anywhere, sir? Don't worry, I brought them with me. They're just behind the door. Still, these weapons alone won't be enough to defeat the true enemy behind the scenes. His faction is too powerful. The guards are all under his control, and he's even stationed a number of golems in various rooms throughout the palace. To defeat him, you must find a secret vault. It is said that within that vault, the Marashose hunters of the past left behind a treasure with the power to defeat the sorcerer. Okay. You're not coming with us? No. I'll remain in the dungeons to deal with the guards. 
I'll try my best to distract them so they don't go after you. As long as my identity is not revealed, I'll be able to aid you when the final battle comes. In that case, please stay safe. Thank you for your concern. I will do my utmost. They're actually blocking his face quite a lot. As for the location of the vault, here. They're trying this too hard. Should lead you there. They're trying too hard to hide his face. Oh my god. Okay. What the? Wait. Okay. I know that place. Got it. All right. Once I open the door, remember to stick close and refrain from making any noise. I'll lead you out of here as quickly as possible. Okay. You now have the chance to restore the honor and legacy of the Mara Shosei Hunters. So please, get out there and reclaim what's ours. And be sure to exercise caution. Uh, of course. Yes. With the help of the guard, you successfully escaped the dungeons. Your sense of despair and anxiety both seem to fade as you continue your quest. Okay. So, I guess we're outside now. Yes. Hmm. I, I was thinking there will be a escape sequence, but I guess not. Never mind then. Hmm. Wait, we didn't get to use our skills at all while we were in prison. Who knows when we're going to get the chance to use that cool summon spell? <laughs> that is a pity, but we can only continue to move forward. Okay, well, let's just go, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Let's just go, I guess. Bye. Well, chat, this is, uh, something, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's definitely something, I'll say that much. Uh, hmm. Right. Oh, hi. This is interesting. What in the world? This should be the place marked on the map. Hmm. This bit of rock certainly looks suspicious. Wait, was this on the actual map itself? Well, I'd say an investigation's in order then. Plus, if all else fails, we can just blow it up. Uh, Klee, when did you join this uh, roleplay session? Question <laughs> mark. I want to cry. No, oh my God, I can't believe they actually wow, put Klee here. You really meant that. <laughs> I cannot believe Klee actually joined this roleplay session. I approve of this. <laughs> Uh, it's crystal here. <laughs> I wanna cry. Before you lies a serene stretch of open water, its surface shimmering a brilliant shade of sapphire blue. Mm. Well, guess this means it's time for a swim. <laughs> why does, why does, why does Paimon sound so unsure of this? But uh, never mind. Too shallow to dive. Oh, okay. Wait, this is new. This must be new. There's no way this is... There is no way that this is... You know... Uh, this was here this whole time. I do not believe you with the game. What the hell? Okay... Odd? <clears throat> huh? Wait... Oh, what's the matter? Uh, it's nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> As you step into the cave, you find yourself in an eerily quiet space. Before you lies a narrow passageway that appears to trail off endlessly into the distance. Uh, this music does not fit the scene. Right now, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, this music really doesn't fit the scene. Because it's eerily quiet. And not... You know, this, I guess. What in the world? I have never been here before. I mean, this must be new, if that's wow, the case. Wow, this must be where the treasure is hidden! Wait a second, this is from the trailer, isn't it? But this door is blocking our way in. <laughs> mm, huh. It almost looks like it's been here for quite some time. I've got to hand it to the tabletop troop. They really went all out with the props. 
I don't think this is a roleplay session anymore. We are actually adventuring now. What the heck? Hmm. Okay. Huh. What have we got down here? A kind of mechanism connected to the door? Huh. It looks like we might have to arrange it into a certain pattern. A pattern on a stone door? That's something Master mentioned before. Yeah. Uh, is something wrong, Clarant? Yeah. After a long, difficult journey, you finally arrive at the location indicated by your map. It appears to be an ancient site of some sort, where treasure likely awaits. Your surroundings are exceedingly quiet and serene, as if the secret that slumbers here has never once been disturbed. If you listen closely, you can almost convince yourself you can hear the sound of its calm, gentle breathing. Uh, that description makes Paimon feel kind of bad for disturbing this place. Same. We're doing this for the sake of the people, to free them from the evil sorcerer. I say it's time for this treasure to once again see the light of day. Lenny's right. We need to keep going. The future of the kingdom depends on it. The next part of the story requires us to solve the puzzle, right? Let's start exploring the area. Yes, that should be fine. Hmm. hmm. Something feels off about all this. Guess I'll just have to improvise. Man, uh, I have no words, honestly. But yeah, we're your companions to progress. Oh, hi. Found something here, too. Okay. Cool. Uh, Farina found something, too? Same here. Hey. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh... Okay, there we go. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Hmm. There we go. That's easy enough. Hmm. What in the world? Okay. Okay. It worked. Hmm. Something just appeared. <laughs> Some kind of new mechanism, maybe? Uh, that's just a bag. By solving the puzzles, you prove yourselves worthy of inheriting the secrets of the past. At the end of each puzzle, you're rewarded with. With? A key. Huh? A rusty oak key. Hmm. Oh, it must be the key to the big door. Huh? This is one of the Marashose Hunter keys that are passed down from generation to generation. Uh. It looks just like the one Master passed down to me. Huh. It is said that four keys in total are required to form the final, complete key. And it seems like we just collected three of them. That must mean... Huh. <gasps> what? Huh? What's wrong? You hear a few strange noises. Suddenly, all the torches in the ruin go out at once. Uh-oh. Huh? What's going on? Did we fall into another trap? For the sake of immersion, please close your eyes, everyone. <clears throat> Without the torches... The space is now completely dark, and you cannot see anything. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. But Paimon can still see a little 
little bit over here. Uh, the, the Paimon! Oh, right. Sorry. Suddenly, you hear the sound of footsteps pierce through the darkness. <gasps> There's someone else here. <sighs> oh, this is so unsettling. I can't see anything. <laughs> I've been discovered then. Huh? Wait. That voice, it's... You recognize the voice as belonging to the guard who led you to this place. It appears he now covets the treasure for himself and has come to stake his claim. Uh. Oh, so this is just part of the script. <sighs> then I can probably relax. I would have said the same thing too, honestly. Well, if we can't see anything, that means we can't fight to the fullest of our abilities. Should we retreat for now? Uh. Judging by the way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chose hunter. But this isn't part of the script. Huh. Retreat? <laughs> That's not the hunter way. If it's dark for us, then it's dark for him. We choose to fight. Okay. Your choice is noted. Please keep your eyes closed until I tell you the torches have been relit. This battle will be in the dark. Okay. You got it. Well then, let us begin. Okay. <laughs> okay. Into the shadows. I'd like to try to hit him with my sword. Your strike is successful. Ha! You're facing a Is he still oh, standing? He's dead already? What the fuck? Is it over? Can we open our eyes now? Okay, sure. I, I was trying to enjoy Corrin's uh, 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 combat style and I just fucking killed him. That was quick. <laughs> what the heck? I, I did not expect this. I should have seen what his kid... Uh, what, what's her kid? Sorry. The enemy is strong and relentless, but the battle is nearing its end. The torches have not been relit. What about now? Final strike. Ha! Oh my god. Wow. Oh well, did we get him? Uh <sighs> Why isn't she answering? Uh Glorian? Uh Warm fire. Flickers across the walls once more. Your vision is now clear. Uh. In an impressive display of courage, the four of you successfully defeat the uninvited guest. Uh. That look in his eyes. It's like he became an entirely different person as soon as I defeated him. Uh. His eyes is unique. Hmm, reminds me of Firefly's eyes, but different color. Huh? Mr. Florian? Uh... Oh, wait. We're supposed to be role-playing. I uh, should stay in character. Uh... Uh, ahem. Speak your name, guard. Why did you lead us here just to betray us? Is this treasure really more important to you than bringing peace to the kingdom? <laughs> what kingdom? What peace? Those were nothing but lies! I, Florian, am a true Mara Chose hunter, descended from hunters of ages past. Oh. So he's also using his real name. Or, wait, was that the name of his character from the very beginning? Uh. Then I'm even more confused. If you truly are a Mara Chose hunter, shouldn't you want to help us just like you said before? Shouldn't we fight together for the sake of the people? What do you know? In this day and age, there's no glory to be had as a Mara Chose hunter. What's that supposed to mean? My skills were passed down to me by my father. We lived a life of obscurity in the remote wilderness. Still, he devoted everything he had to being a Mara Chose hunter. And what did he get in return? A life of poverty and pain. And a world that forgot all about him. When he died, not a single person came to mourn his passing. The Mara Chose hunters were the ones who saved this city. We're heroes. We deserved more recognition and respect than this. Uh. 
Is he talking about how no one in the capital seems to remember the hunters and their legacy? I didn't expect the script to contain this level of social criticism. Hmm. So that's why you want to take the treasure for yourself? You feel like you're owed fame and wealth? If you already knew where the treasure was located, why didn't you just come down here and take it? Because I still needed the final key. Uh. <clears throat> Only a true Marashose hunter is capable of passing through this final door. Mm. As someone who sought to hurt others for his own gain, Florian lost that right long ago. Okay, but what is this treasure anyway? We've got all the keys, right? So can we just go in and take a look? You're sure you want to go in? Mm. We've been talking about it for so long, of course we want to see what's inside! Mm. And we've already defeated Florian, right? So he won't try to take it from us anymore. Uh... Pesky brats. Watch yourself. Mm. Then let's open the door together. Alright. <clears throat> Your choice of action is confirmed. Hmm. Okay, without anything noticing, she takes out her own key and joins in with the others to form the final required shape. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. That looks uh, interesting. Before you, the door to the treasure, sealed and undisturbed for more than a hundred years, finally swings open. You hear the shrill wail of the door hinge as it rotates for the first time after years of disuse. What the Almost heck? like a sleeping giant letting out an extended yawn. Mm. You get the impression that the secrets buried behind this door might be just as heavy as the sound you just heard. Mm. <gasps> it's open! Come on, let's go in! Mama wants to see what's inside! Ooh! Me too! <laughs> this so much i love this so much this is cool this is cool honestly <laughs> uh, gosh wait, wait wait i'm gonna take a screenshot of this <laughs> crest would love oh uh, dang it uh, uh wrong, wrong wrong button oh god <laughs> this is funny yes i love this <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is cute. I love this so much. <laughs> that is funny. Uncovering hidden treasure is the most exciting part of adventuring. What do we have here? Uh huh. Oh. A stone tablet and some shabby weapons. Uh, what? <sighs> Uh, hmm. Maybe the troop ran out of budget at the end? Hmm. They provided a super immersive experience at the beginning only to drop the ball at the most important part? <laughs> they could have at least filled this place with cardboard mora or something! <laughs> Wait, I get it now. Paimon, this is the real Mara Shosei Hunter treasure. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> this is it? The Mara Shosei Hunter treasure is just a stone slab and some broken swords? I can't believe it. I refuse to believe it! Uh. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> the Mara Shosei Hunter before you appears to suffer a serious mental breakdown. He needs to leave the room for a moment to collect himself. He should. One of you seems to understand the significance of the treasure already. If the rest of you wish to follow suit, you may remain here in the meantime and explore your surroundings. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, I'm playing as Koren, that's cool. But yeah, talk to Florian at the distance also. Why is this one just here? I have no idea. But yeah. Okay, I actually want to see this. The old and broken weapons... Hmm. Ah, uh, the names on the tablet! 
Hmm. What is going on? What is the treasure supposed to be? I can't talk to the traveler. Okay. What the heck? Oh, that is. I see. Walter. Walter White. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we get to use uh, Corin for a bit. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this. <sighs> so, how are you doing? Feeling any better? Hmm. I. What just happened? Uh. Do you remember how you got here? Or what happened to your body just now? Uh, I remember now. I brought you here because I wanted to... Uh, the explosives in the cave! Huh? You mean these? Huh? How did you... Huh? I could tell something was off the moment I stepped into this cave. So I kept an eye out. I've already dismantled the whole thing. Oh? <laughs> so the strongest champion duelist in all of Fontaine saved the day once again. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It would seem your skills as a Mara Chose hunter are as sharp as ever. Hmm. I deserve some answers, don't you think? Tell me why you wanted to lure me here. Everything you said earlier sounded like the truth. Luckily, your monologue was dramatic enough to convince my friends you were just role-playing. I... I don't know. I just always felt like there was something in my heart that didn't belong to me. Something agitated and angry. T who knows? Maybe it was my own anger all along. I could never really tell. The feelings about my father and the other Marshose hunters are real. It just wasn't fair. I was angry, bitter that no one remembered them or praised their accomplishments. Hmm. I don't know when it started, but at some point, my anger came to completely consume me. At that point, I remember the legend my father used to tell me. The one about the treasure. But if the treasure was all you cared about, why plant all those explosives? Wouldn't they just destroy the treasure and bury you along with it? Uh, I can't remember. My head is a mess. It felt like there was this voice telling me to eliminate the hunters, but now it's gone. Huh. From your description, I suspect you were dealing with a devorator. What the hell? Are they gonna lore drop this late into the story? What the heck? A uh, devorator? Oh, your master... Uh, <clears throat> your father, I mean. Never talked about it? It was a kind of monster that was active several centuries ago. Huh? No, I've heard of it. I'm just not sure why you suddenly... Wait, it can't be. The seal! What? The seal? My family has served as Mara Chose hunters for many generations. But the title and swordsmanship weren't the only things passed down over our line. There was a seal as well. Oh? My father instructed me to always watch over that seal and maintain it regularly. He said it had been passed down over a truly ancient age, and protecting it was our clan's most important duty. Hmm. But I neglected that duty after he died. I finally decided to come down and check on it one day, and that's where my memories become fuzzy. The Devorator would be a formidable adversary for any mortal being, even ones as capable as the Hunters. If you lacked the power to completely destroy it, you could easily fall prey to its influence and corruption. In light of this, some Marashose Hunters chose to seal the Devorator away, in the hopes that a permanent solution would come with the passage of time. I heard it has the power to amplify the obsessions and desires in people's hearts, to the point where they overtake you entirely. It would seem I'm not just lacking in skill with a blade, but in mental fortitude as well. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, I realized that his eyes changed back to normal now. Interesting. And yet, you were able to retrieve three of the four keys. If I remember correctly, each was entrusted to a respected and capable hunter. How did you manage it? Mm. One of them belonged to my father. The second I stole from a different hunter. And the third... 
was one that I snatched while the person was on the way home from the tavern. Oh. I nearly died in that alley. What the heck? I know just how strong you are. It's as clear as day to everyone in Fontaine. I observed you from dusk to dawn, but could never find any opportunity to sneak up on you. I never even saw you drink a single glass of liquor. The only way I could think to obtain that last key was to lure you here using your hobby, and then... Oh, I get it now. That monster, it wanted to bury you here alongside the treasure. Mm. Mm. I won't comment on anything else, but the script was good. Okay. <laughs> well, I did pour my heart and soul into it. I can tell, yeah. The stories my father used to tell me about the glory of the heroic Mara Chose hunters and how they came to be forgotten. It's more than just a story. Huh? You're proud to be a hunter. You're still holding onto that part of yourself, no matter how small. Mm. I have done so many despicable things. I have nothing to be proud of. Then explain the purpose of the evil sorcerer in your story. <gasps> okay. Isn't he the true antagonist? The one who sought nothing but his own gain and used the people as pawns to attain it? In your heart of hearts, he was the one you truly wanted to defeat. But... but I've already tainted my sword. I no longer have any right to... Wake up, Florian. Remember how you introduced yourself earlier. Do you really think the Hunters acted out of a desire for honor and glory? Or to be loved and acknowledged by the people? What did your father teach you about our order? Hmm... You do not wield your sword for yourself, but to protect those you serve. There's nothing special about a blade. It's the intentions of the wielder that matter above all else. Do you still not understand? Even after seeing the treasure for yourself? The contents of that room, they represent the true legacy the hunters left behind. You're right. I... I am a Mara Chose hunter. It's time for me to redeem, no, to finally serve the people I vowed to protect all along. I wouldn't be so quick to push aside the need for redemption. <laughs> yes, yes. I know. That's a charge I won't bother to defend myself against. Good. Then, come with me. And help me see the script through to the end. Huh? See the script through to the end? But... But there's no more script left. Oh. Hmm. Never finished it, huh? <laughs> no, I mean, I wrote the script with the sole purpose of luring you all here. There was no reason to write beyond this point. Then we'll just have to keep writing it. The evil sorcerer still needs to be defeated. Hmm. Yes. You mean the devorator? Uh, are you saying I have to make up the rest of the script as we go along? Uh... Is that really so hard? You've already written most of it. Surely you can write an ending where the hunters win and justice prevails. I'll be there to help you too. You aren't afraid your party will fall into danger? I know what my friends are capable of, and they're all quite skilled. Besides, I need their help. Then, are you going to tell them the truth about all this? Uh... Ah, uh, I don't intend to spoil the fun. Sometimes, protecting dreams and fantasies is more important than exposing the truth. Don't you think? Well, that's more. Obviously, that's more, but, uh, you know. God, this is so broken. Oh, okay. Okay, right, begin. Okay. Hello there. Uh, they're back. Hello there. That took a while. Uh um. Oh. Uh -huh. Ahem. My fellow Mara Chose hunters, please forgive me for I have sinned. <laughs> That's one way to start off. Uh. Okay. Tone it down. Uh. S sorry. <clears throat> 
After crossing swords with you and witnessing your courage in battle, I've rediscovered my true self and regained my pride as a Mara Shosei hunter. Oh, do I smell a redemption arc? Yes, yes. I confess, I was brainwashed by the evil sorcerer. He asked me to lure you here so he could bury you in this cave. That little... Wait, you're saying all of that wasn't you but the evil sorcerer? Mm -hmm. That's right. He's adept at manipulating the hearts and minds of the people. I fell under his influence because I did not possess a strong enough sense of will. Huh. And how are you going to prove that you're a changed man? We're not going to fall for the same trap twice! Uh, what the... <laughs> yes, what the in the crust? What the... Um... To be perfectly honest, I only came to my senses after seeing the treasure. It reminded me of my father's past teachings. The treasure was actually... The names of all the Mar Shosei hunters from ages past and their weapons? Wait, you... already know? Oh. Of course. Don't underestimate a veteran role player's exploration skills. Oh wait, I mean, Mar Shosei <laughs> hunter Navia's exploration skills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Furina's like... Uh, are you are you for real? <laughs> She's like, are you for real? <laughs> like just right here, are you for real? <laughs> we just finished reading through the content of the stone tablet. That tablet recorded the lives of some fascinating people. For example, this Marsha Say hunter called Est. Okay. She inherited the responsibilities of the Golden Hunter and passed judgment on many people. But, in private, she had a very easy-going personality. Her favorite pastime was singing and dancing with her friends, and she was said to have a beautiful voice. She's breaking character a lot. Navia's breaking a lot of character, yes. So, she was just like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you really think so? <laughs> Look at her. She's so cute. I love her. I love her, Chad. I love her. Yes. Well, when you put it that way, I suppose I also have a few things in common with this Walter. Oh? Working as an executioner, he supposedly used a countless number of tricks to confound his enemies in battle. Oh, if only I could have seen the feats of magic he pulled off back then. <laughs> okay, Lenny's cute too, yes. Uh, pass judgment, uh, new villette. <laughs> I mean... He sings our trees so I can make the end at least cut in. <laughs> no, he didn't sing that. <laughs> well, the voice actor did, so yeah. Their lives were all so exciting. You could write so many cool books about their accomplishments. How could they have all been forgotten? Because they chose to be. Huh? To hunt monsters that only appear in the shadows, you must also operate in the dark. To be a Mar Shosei hunter is to willingly give up on wealth and fame. Then this stone tablet must have been left behind by their companions. That's right. Few Mar Shosei hunters ever revealed their identity to the public. They always protected the city from the shadows. Ah, okay. Lenny the Executioner being executed by Siege. Oh, shush you! Stop doing that to my boy! Please! The only time they spoke of their accomplishments would be at night when they gathered with their fellow hunters in front of the bonfire to share stories of the monsters slain by their hand. So, this tablet was created not so that the hunters would be remembered by the people, but so that they would be remembered by each other. No wonder this place was so well hidden. You regard the stone tablet in solemn silence. The names of your comrades etched onto its surface serve as a reminder that you are never truly alone. The tablet proves that, although a hunter walks a shrouded path, it is not a solitary one. There will always be those who walk beside you, a fact that remains as true today as in ages long past. Their legacies shall continue to be passed down from generation to generation, as everlasting as the stone onto which their names are carved. Father, you once told me that I should seek out the treasure if I ever became lost. So this is what you wanted me to find.
<laughs> Inside check on him. I decided to trust you, Florin. I don't need to trust him. I think he did more than enough. Thank you, my friend. You are very kind. I implore you, everyone. Please give me a chance to make up for all I've done. Allow me to fight alongside you and defeat the evil sorcerer that threatens the peace and prosperity of everyone in this kingdom. <laughs> basement. <laughs> of this basement. <laughs> I like that it just says that. <laughs> well, I say we let you join. Sounds good to me too. Everyone makes mistakes. What matters is what you do to make up for them. <laughs> yes, bruh. <laughs> I have no objections, but... Mr. Florian, do you even know how to defeat the evil sorcerer? Hmm. When he took over my mind, I gained some insight into his thoughts. Every time I thought of the treasure, he reacted with a strong sense of fear. Oh. Huh? He's afraid of the treasure? But there's nothing here except some broken weapons in the stone tablet! Hmm. What if the secret's <laughs> hidden inside these weapons? A GM? Permission to investigate. Okay. Oh, oh right, Navia's making a check, not me. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, sure. At first glance, the weapons appear absolutely ordinary. But as you observe them, you notice a faint energy emanating from within. Oh? These blades have slain countless monsters. Though it's been a long time since they were used in battle, their edges remain sharp. As if they're simply waiting for the next worthy hunter to carry on their legacy. Hmm. So basically, take these with us, right? Ooh, Lenny gets a... Uh, he gets a downgrade, Chad. He got a downgrade. I'll take this weapon, <laughs> since it used to belong to Est. Maybe it'll find comfort in being held by someone who appreciates the arts. Oh my god, Furina got a downgrade. I wanna cry. <laughs> Everyone got a downgrade. <laughs> it's a silver sword, it's not dull blade. Oh my god, I wanna cry. Ah, huh, good idea. I'll take Mr. Walter's bow then. From one archer magician to another. What? <sighs> This one has a feather. What is this bow? I forgot this bow. Hmm. I'm gonna check later. Paimon's gonna pick a cool weapon too! They're all trash, Paimon. We literally get them everywhere. Oh my god, I wanna cry, chat. I wanna cry. I'm cringing. <laughs> As you grip your weapons, you can almost feel the will of past hunters coursing through your being. It's a feeling of courage. Determination. A silent vow passed down from generation to generation that says, eradicate the monsters, no matter the cost. Stop through this off. I'm gonna check that. Yeah. Throw Paimon down the stair. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Mr. Florian, do you know where to find the evil sorcerer? Good question. I was able to see his surroundings when our minds were connected. I believe he's currently hiding out at the church in the kingdom. Church? Uh, my house? <laughs> Basement of my house! <laughs> Basement of my house! <laughs> oh my god, I wanna cry. I wanna cry. This is so bad. This is so funny. I cannot believe this. I actually cannot believe this. <laughs> Currently hiding at the basement of my house. <laughs> that is so funny, honestly. We must be extremely careful. He's spent so long living among monsters that he's now taken the form of one. He will not be easily defeated. <laughs> uh... Then why don't we explore some more and try to find some higher level gear? We don't want to just fight him and lose, right? Uh, true. And also, hi, Ash. Oh, um... No, no need? No, we have to strike now. He was greatly weakened when I managed to break out of his control. If we let him rest, he might have time to escape. Okay. Hi, Ash. I agree with Mr. Florian. We've got to act while we have the advantage. Don't forget, the people of the capital are counting on us. Yes, indeed. Yeah, now that we've got a plan, there's no point in waiting. 
The longer this drags on, the worse it will be for everybody. Yes, yes. That's what's called... Uh, taking the initiative? Yes, that's exactly right. All right, you've persuaded Paimon. Okay. Mr. Florian, please lead the way. Of course. Follow me. Okay. He had to set up so many scenes today. And now he has to join in for this last part. I really don't envy his job. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that, Farina. <laughs> Silly. Finally, you decide to slay the evil sorcerer and bring peace back to the kingdom once and for all. We're gonna come back once we're done with this story. As you walk away, you feel the gaze of the stone tablet at your back. As if all the hunters of the past are wishing you success in the battle ahead and awaiting your triumphant return. Okay. Right. I mean, we'll come back in a bit. Uh, Firefly. Firefly. Hey, 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 wait, what? Hmm. Hmm, okay. That's interesting. Okay, we'll definitely come back once we're done with this. Where's the church? Why is the church here? Okay, never mind. Whatever. Let's just go. Okay, right. I think this might be the final part of this. Hopefully, we get something here. Okay, moving on. Uh, go to the church in the capital. This does not look like a capital. But, I digress. I guess. Anyways, hi Ash, how you doing? <laughs> Sorry about, you know, not speaking much, but yeah. Finally, you arrive at the church Florian described. Okay. As you approach, an ominous aura surrounds you. You get the sense that your enemy is close at hand. Oh, I'm alright. I'm EP. We should go back to sleep. <laughs> it's okay. Friday is nearby. You know, you can take your rest once you are done with your Friday, Saturday job, I guess. And also, you know, it's Thursdays, my dudes. <laughs> That's not how it works. Never mind. Anyways, I'm glad they used this song though. Yes. Friday is when I get pulled. I pull out. Oh, I pull an all nighter. Oh. Because I gotta work on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> How strange. This uneasy feeling seems so real. Mm -hmm. How did they manage that? I don't know. Pain. Pain indeed, yes. But enjoy this ending here. Now, it is time for the final battle. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the weapon. Never mind. Florian, wait. Oh? What's wrong? I think you should wait outside. You've already been corrupted by the Devorator once. It could easily re-enter your mind and take control of your body. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be this close. If it corrupts you again, it's possible you might take on a new form entirely. Hmm, true. That's exactly why I have to go. Why I should be at the very front. Uh, you mean... Yes. I intend to lure it into my body. Okay. That's too risky. If things get out of hand, I might have to kill you. Do you understand how dangerous this is? I understand. But if I do this, you'll have a clear and visible target. Uh... The Devorator will have a hard time passing up a chance to enter a body it knows how to control. You won't have to worry about any of your friends being taken over. Uh... <laughs> You're not like me, Miss Clorand. You're a just and powerful Marachose hunter. The monster broke free due to my error. It's only right that I shoulder the responsibility for its destruction. Mm. This is... something that I have to do. Consider it a duel to restore my honor. Oh. My only request is that you give it your all. Mm. <sighs> I understand. Well, darn. Then, as a champion duelist, I hereby accept your request for a duel. 
and extend to you my most sincere regards. <laughs> Thank you. The battle is now upon us. Let the Devorator once again tremble under the blade of the Mara Chaussee Hunters. Oh boy. This is heavy. Anyways, I want this because this is cool. Yes. Also, uh, where is this last flower? Oh, uh, flower. Flower. Yes, rainbow rose. Yes, yes. Okay, right. Uh, there we go. I, I want rainbow roses. They are cool. Yes. Okay, right. Let's go into the church. Yes. Uh, let's see where this leads us, I guess. Oh yeah, right. Before I enter, I need to check the weapon. So it must be like a three star or lower graded weapon, right? Oh, it is Sharpshooter's Oath. It's actually this. <laughs> right. I see. Yeah, now I know. Okay, so it is that. And then Furina got the Silver Sword. It's not double blade. Yeah, it does not look like this. I don't have a silver sword right now she literally got a downgrade i'm so sad <laughs> that is so funny i'm right yeah you're right chris you're definitely right i <laughs> you can tell i don't use all the three star weapons sharp shooters oh yeah oh, oh what the Uh-oh. Oh my god. Wait. So, so <laughs> the little dudes. Oh my god! What the heck? Why is nothing breaking? This foe is not invincible. You hold the treasure. The, the power to defeat it in your own two hands. The treasure? You mean... The names. It's the Marshose Hunter's names. How are we supposed to... You forget, Paimon? There's still one skill we saved until the very end. Hunters fight not for fame, but to aid the people whenever they are summoned. Walter the Marashose Hunter. Master of a thousand tricks. Executioner of the Phantom Hunters. What the f- What the hell? Est, the Marashose Hunter. Inheritor of Cassiodor's will. Judge of the Shadow Hunters. Answer my call! What the hell? Petronia, protector of justice and order. The what hunter the? I respect the most. Thank you for saving my friend, the best one I'll ever know. Please, lend us your strength. Hmm. What the? We have come. To answer your summons. What the hell? That was so cool. And what so, the heck? The monsters were eradicated. And the sorcerer was defeated. That was so cool! But why is that no fighting scene? We should have fought! I really wanted to use Corrin! <laughs> Dang it! I'm so sad! I actually- Okay, chat. What would have been cooler is like they cut- Before Corrin does that like final attack on that guy, we should have like a fighting scene. Like at least we fight this guy's- this guy once, then uh, you know, we do the final strike, you know what I mean? 
<sighs> it's a bit sad, but you know, eh, they want it to be a one singular CGI cutscene anyway. I think that's what they usually do, so eh, fair enough. Oh my god, that's so cool though, honestly. Uh, and that's the intention to lure enemy in. We're not going to share our mode. Uh, more damage, less, less flexible. Uh, I feel like she's more flexible. Com okay, comparing to Kaching, I don't know. But she's more flexible than other Kino. So yeah, sadly the deaths have other ideas. Damn, <clears throat> it's fine. I mean, that looks cool though. Regardless, it looks so cool. Peace soon returned to the capital. Those in the court, manipulated by the sorcerer, also recognized the errors of their ways. Mm. Some remembered the names of the heroes who saved their kingdom, but others simply continued their lives none the wiser. Such is the story of the Mara Shosei hunters. They pursue the phantoms in the darkness and exterminate all who pose a threat. They will always protect the city and those within it, even should all memory of their accomplishments be forgotten by the very people they serve. Uh, that guy is actually dead, right? <sighs> I am assuming we finally reached the end of the script. Yes. Yes, you've reached one of the better endings. Oh. It's a pretty solid story overall. I thought it was just an ordinary adventure at first, but the further we got into it, the more impressed I became with the production and the plot. <laughs> production, yeah, he's not dead. <laughs> okay, he's not dead, never mind. That final battle especially! All the effects were super realistic. Uh, because it is real, question mark? Oh, right, yeah. Totally. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's a really good point. I never expected the weapons we picked up from that vault would have that kind of effect. <laughs> yeah, mine nearly scared the daylights out of me when it started glowing. I took a good look at it after we got out, but I don't think it ever lit up again. Mm. Oh, we should probably give these props back, right? I'll just leave mine here. <laughs> okay. Did you have a good time? Of course. Let me know if another script like this comes around. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, Farina's so cute. Sure, no problem. Then I'll head back for now. I think I need some time to fully digest everything that just happened. There is no way Farina doesn't know that this is real, right? Because, you know, she must have known something about something of this, right? Must be. Once Mr. Florian is awake, please pass on my regards to him. He must be extremely exhausted oh. to have passed out cold like that. Okay, at least he's still breathing. Okay, fair. You're right. He's had a lot to deal with. Well, see you all some other time. Toodaloo! <laughs> uh, that's so Farina. Farina's too innocent about this. Bro, I do not believe you. <laughs> Uh, but still, okay, fair. Okay, so, can I ask now? Now, I'll wait until tomorrow. <laughs> we will say to him, Oh, good! Oh, good! You're finally awake! <laughs> I want to cry. I think it should be fine, yeah. What in the world was going on back there? Wait, are you telling me that Farina's the only one who didn't know what's happening? Only Navia and Lenny knows what's going on. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, so you saw through all of that? Well, now I know. Farina's the silly one of the bunch. I wanna cry. <laughs> <laughs> That time in the cave when you told us to close our eyes, it'd be weirder if we didn't notice anything. <laughs> I was dying of curiosity the entire time. I mean, you did a pretty bang-up job of pretending nothing had gone wrong. Farina actually looked like she thought all of it was planned. <laughs> Guess none of us wanted to be the one to break the illusion. <laughs> I told you she's too innocent. <laughs> okay, well, you know the story already, okay? I can't say much, but still, you know. <laughs> uh, what are you all talking about? Okay, Paimon's also not 
knowing what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I was just playing along. <laughs> oh, wait. Don't tell me Paimon never... No, oh, this is all my fault. It's not too late to cover your ears. Here, Paimon, I'll do it for you. <laughs> A bit late for that, don't you think? <laughs> uh, you're saying everything that happened back there wasn't actually part of the script? <laughs> it's probably more accurate to say this was never a real scripted story to begin with. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> I can't believe Paimon is so... <laughs> Paimon is fully immersed in this. I cannot believe this. <sighs> so loud. <sighs> My head. Uh... Hi. Hey, you! Get up right now and explain yourself! Uh, shut up, Paimon! Uh, uh, no shaking, please! <laughs> oh, my head. <laughs> I wanna cry, this is so funny. Okay, anyway. Did, did Paimon just hear that right? You guys made up that whole last part on the spot? Yes. It's not nice to lie to people, but Paimon's gotta admit that was a really good story, Florian. Oh, and nice improvisation, Florian! <laughs> yeah, it was like watching a magician improvise a spectacular magic trick after forgetting an important prop. <laughs> if Pyron knew something was wrong with that bulb, she would have floated straight in the opposite direction. Uh, everything was under control. Hmm. As if you've ever described a situation as being out of control. <laughs> I'm pretty sure any situation you consider to be easy to handle would scare a reasonable person half to death. Bro, I thought you guys were like, oh good, you're finally awake after you s <laughs> after you stare at him. No, uh, Paimon literally just shakes him until he... Uh, his headache is like, I don't know, uh, he probably has headache until like the next year or something, I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm just used to it. Uh, you must run into a lot of unexpected situations then. That explains why you're so good at coming up with things on the spot. Hmm. As for you, Florian. I know there's no excuse for what I did. I'll turn myself into the guards at once, confess my crimes and accept any punishment that comes my way. I would say you've already suffered more than enough. Huh? Okay. Oh, being possessed and all. Yeah, of course. Uh, what? You may have been blinded by fame and fortune in the beginning, but your actions during the final battle had proven you to be a true Marishose hunter. <sighs> You'll be far more used to the city above ground than below. Your job as a hunter is more important. Mm. But... Of course, you'll still need to take the keys and pay a personal visit to the two hunters you wronged. Prepare to accept any terms they give you as well. Mm. Uh, yes, of course. As far as I'm concerned, though, your showing in the duel was enough to prove your honor. <sighs> then I'll do exactly as you said. I... I'll go return those two keys right now. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll do my best to prove myself worthy of the second chance you've given me. I swear this on my name and honor as a Mara Shose hunter. Until we meet again, everyone. I hope we see him again, yeah. <laughs> Redemption arc, you say. Yes, indeed. Exit the church, quote-unquote, shortly after Florin. <laughs> church, cat, is the church. It's not a basement. <laughs> I wanna cry. I wanna cry. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> anyway. Speaking of Mara Shose hunters, what should we do about the treasure in that cave? Uh. Leave it be. Oh? Are you sure? We could show it to people, make it so that the hunters are remembered. Don't you want that? Uh. No. Every name on that tablet made the same choice. All hunters know what the path entails. I am no exception. My identity as a Mara Shose hunter is not something I need people to remember. I wish only to be recognized as a champion duelist. Nothing more. Mm. That's certainly very different from the path of a magician. Still, I admire your decision. Yes, indeed. Wait, I just remembered something. If there were no special effects involved, why did our weapons 
begin to glow during the battle. Uh... That's because the Mara Shosei hunters of ages past would often imbue their weapons with special enchantments to suppress the monsters. Whenever a monster was nearby, their weapons would start to glow. Mm. Oh, so that's why they had an effect on that guy near the end. I really thought the summons were doing all the work. Well, I'm sure the summons were a part of it too. Mm. Oh? How so? This particular Devorator probably hailed from the same era as the hunters we saw in the room. Mm. The names you recited all belonged to the bravest hunters. Countless monsters fell to their blades. That's likely why the Devorator visibly reacted when you said them out loud. Mm. So the names held the power all along! Uh, Navia... Everything you said during your summon... Huh? Oh! <laughs> uh, I... Um... I meant what I said. Mm. I mean, it was true to my character, so... Yeah, I'm glad you heard it. Mm. Just don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I really appreciated those words. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> alright, alright. Don't get all sentimental on me. Gosh, this is cute, honestly. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about that anymore. I'm going to go on ahead. Don't fall too far behind now. Okay. Uh, she ran off! Hmm. There's a theory to be made here. Hmm. Interesting. I should probably head back as well. This story was truly incredible. I might have to spend the whole night telling my siblings all about it. <laughs> yeah. Silly Lenny. You have a good one. Good night, Lenny. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Goodbye. Yay. Take care. <laughs> so. Traveler. Should your name and deeds be forgotten, what do you think the significance of your journey will be? Hmm. I. Hmm. I don't know. I suppose the significance would be the journey itself and the world we helped create. There's still value in the time I shared with everyone here, in the things we were able to accomplish, even if no one remembers them. Hmm. A great answer. I'll remember it. What would your answer be? Me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has already made a name for herself. The Mara Shosei Hunter says nothing in response to that question. Oh, fair. Perhaps her answer lies in her silence. An unspoken vow left to echo through the night. The path she walks needs no explanation. <laughs> Gosh, she's still role-playing as this GM. GG! All right, I think I have fun with this a lot more. I'll say that much. Oh, what the hell? Album. Huh? Okay. Wait. What is this? Uh, okay. Uh, I I need to go to Sumeru, but uh, that's not the point. What the? Marachu say Hunter Judgment Day character album. A book that commemorates the participants in the game of Marichuse Hunter Judgment Day for both players and game master, as well memories of your adventures together. And so, I shall never despair. Perhaps this ex uh, exhortation holds a deeper meaning for the ones who played the Marichuse Hunter. Oh man, this is so cool! Oh, it's a character album. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. And then I'm as the doctor. Cool, cool. Yes. Gosh, this is so cool. But yeah, I'll just... Oh my god, I can't believe they let us keep this. This is so cool. I must say. Yeah. Okay. 
Right. So I guess now is like we go back there, right? Let's go back for a bit. I need to go to Sumeru after this. <laughs> Why did the idle voice line play just now? That was weird. I mean, I think they play that every time. Even if you're transitioning. I hear that uh, uh, quite well, but yeah. Okay, right. Right, I don't need to worry about drowning. Right. <laughs> Okay, right. Let's take a look around. There must be something here, right? <laughs> wait, what? Tidy up. Oh, wait, what? Wait, you can do this? Oh, oh my gosh. I thought there was nothing here. Oh, that looks so cool. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to get this. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh. oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, you can do this. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Huh, okay. Gee, all right. I can't believe we actually tidied this place up. We made a memorial, definitely, yeah. But, ah, oh, I didn't know you can... I mean, of course I don't know because it's new, but like, I wasn't expecting this. I honestly expected nothing, you know, but wow. I like that they just made a memorial out of this. That's cool, that's cool. But I don't care there's no achievement tied to it. It makes sense that no achievement is tied to it because this is like a story quest thing. They don't usually give out achievements for story quests. So, yeah. That's cool, that's cool, honestly. Alright, well... Okay, alright. I like that Linny is the one doing it, just so you know. <laughs> In my eyes, he did it. <laughs> uh, that That's obviously not the way to do this. Oh, pff, oh, okay, well, that that's cool. Okay, right. I like this a lot. But yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, I Okay, I got hurt. <laughs> Check W. Oh uh, well. But yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Uh I honestly chat, I'll be honest with you. As I said yesterday, they definitely put more effort into the story quest than in the Archon quest. Oh, God damn it. I hate proving myself right in this specific circumstances, honestly. Like chat, like chat, here's the problem, here's the problem. They really put more effort into this story quest than X6. I'm a bit annoyed right now because, like, uh, like here's the thing. The, okay, the story quest is really good, okay, uh, undeniable, like it's really, really good, okay. Like, they put a lot of stuff into it. For example, like the, uh, you know, 
the 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 role playing aspect. You know, they put so much more effort into that, and also you know the cards drawing. You know, the D twenty, basically. Like, uh, I feel that I feel that X six is a bit of a letdown because you know just how good it is. You know. Bow your head. Let the mighty be humble. I'm more annoyed than I'm more annoyed at that than anything, honestly. But yeah, but what can I do, honestly? No, oh, no, okay. Wait. What? Game? What is this BS? Okay, I'm mad. I'm mad. Never mind. Okay, right. Uh, oh well, chat. I can't sit here and complain all day, honestly. But, like... I just wish they put a little bit more effort into that. I am surprised I got six. Uh, this is a bin. <laughs> I mean, I, I can unlock that. It's fine. But yeah, I think we're done for today. I still need to go to Sumeru, right? <clears throat> right, let's... Uh... Where do I buy stuff? Oh yeah, from here, right. <sighs> but yeah, chat, I definitely enjoyed this story quest a lot. I totally did not expect that they went to this direction for... Corinth story quest. Honestly, I think that this is one of the better decisions to do it like this, to tell the story like this, this way. I'll say that much. I'm gonna revisit that place later. Uh, I should say tomorrow. When, you know, when we're doing, after we're done with Spirobis, I think I'll go back to the place to take a look at if anything changes in the um, Marachuse Hunter, uh, what do you call memorial? I guess you can say. But yeah, I think I'll go back there tomorrow. But for now, I think we're done. Yes, we are definitely done for today. I find this really fun, honestly. Like, oh yeah, right. We. Yeah, we should go back to Dane's like hiding spot the other day. Also, I want to take a look at the uh, his hiding spot just to see if anything changed there. I assume that probably nothing has changed. Let's we'll see. I I'll, I'll give it a okay. Well, that was unexpected. Well, this is annoying. Whatever. Oh, what the? Okay, well, that's annoying. Whatever. Okay, well, whatever. Well, uh, I would say this is the right way to go, but uh, let's see where this goes to. It's nothing. It's nothing. That's nothing here. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. God dang it. I'm mad. I'm mad. Uh, what the hell? Hi. Settle down. Okay. Sure. And it drops nothing. Okay, whatever. Mm. Where else do we check? Um Like actually where else do we check? Like yesterday we went to Gandrava. Sorry, Vimara Village, not Kandava Bill. Uh, we went there, and then the tree, maybe? Like, the only other place to check is probably the tree here. Uh, and then... What else? Like, eh? Let me think. Um, here... I realized that we didn't go anywhere yesterday. Like, honestly, we just stayed pretty much in Vimara Village. Honestly. Okay, well, uh, never mind. 
So for the Now where is the tree? That one that's the tree. Yep. That's definitely the tree. All right. <gasps> oh! It's still there? What? Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh! Wait! For real, these are still here. Huh. I'm surprised this is still here. Like, honestly. Huh. So these, this is a perman permanent fixture then, I guess. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I... <sighs> Do I care? No, okay, I guess I care. Silence. Oh, okay. Well, that's annoying. Huh. I really didn't know that this is a permanent fixture. That's actually pretty cool, honestly. Oh, huh, okay. Cool. Honestly, really cool. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, I guess that's that. Um, okay, so for this one is... Oh yeah, one of the things that I didn't check is the prison itself that we were in just now. Right. Right, the prison cell, the, uh, the prison quote-unquote, we, we can technically go and take a look at the uh, entrance for a bit, I guess. I'm not sure what we will find, but I assume not much considering the other location. So, yeah. Here, right. I think it should be here. Yeah, it's here somewhere. Question mark. Eh? Yeah, must be between the trees. Right. Yeah, must be here. So, it's not here. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not up here. Yeah, it's definitely between those trees. But, uh, I guess we have explored just about everything that we can. Well, I tried my best. Shut. <sighs> There's nothing here. I mean, the last place is, I guess, his house, but like, eh. I don't see a reason to visit his house, but might as well at this point, honestly. Yeah. Well, uh, chat, this is something. Uh, see if anyone needs healing. Uh, nope, okay. Right, let's go to his house one more time. This doesn't relate to his house, I'm pretty sure. As I was told. But yeah, I guess nothing here. I mean, we still can check the underground section, I guess. Okay. Right. Right, there's nothing here. Okay, never mind. Alright, chat, I think we're done for today. I definitely enjoyed this a lot i'll be honest with you i am uh beyond uh what are called satisfied with this story quest honestly mostly because mostly because you know it involved a lot of characters that you know i want to see personally yes and it also strung up quite an interesting story for you know the marichu sea hunters in general you know yeah i like that Oh boy. But yeah, um... What next, I guess? Uh, let me just double check this. Uh, okay, that that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't do all bosses anymore. Maybe I should do boss runs someday. Like, honestly. So, once again, this is empty. Okay, right. And battle.
Okay, so um, what else do we check? Uh, see, upgrade, upgrade characters time. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, we're still a bit away. You know what, chat? Honestly, pulling for Koran might have been the best decision ever for now. Yes, I still need to get her sword, but uh, I'm pretty sure that should be fine. But yeah, yeah, we can definitely upgrade her. We still got a lot of transoceanic pearls, so we should be good on that department. So yeah, honestly, Chad, I'll be real with you. I am really satisfied with this uh, story quest. I'll be, I I'm happy. I'm really happy. Uh, Navia and Corrin are side by side. That is interesting. But yeah. I should give her a better wing glider, honestly. Yeah, this works. Doesn't really suit that well, but uh. Does this? No, it, it is too much. Nah, too much. Nah, too much. I think I'll just stick to this. Yeah, that's alright. With me, yeah. And uh, Navia. No, no, not Ascend, but like, you know. Oh yeah, she's already switched. But yeah. Corrin and. <laughs> they both are side by side. I'm surprised. Gosh, that's so cool. I, I still believe that that's like one of the coolest animations in like gunslinging animation stuff. I, I don't know what's the correct term for it, but yeah. I need to get more of this, don't I? Uh, that's annoying. But yeah. I guess what we can do is not a lot. Okay, we cannot do a lot. And I can't even do that. That's cool. God damn it. Why? I'm I'm sad. But yeah. Alright shit. I'm gonna go and sleep now. <sighs> I think we are done for just about everything. Once again. Uh yeah. The story's done. Uh left, right, and center. Yeah, that that's about that, honestly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just double checking a few more things and then we just end the stream, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I am... Uh... I would say, chat, like... Maybe I was a bit harsh with, like, you know, X6. But my concern became true regardless of my opinion, you know? Like... This story quest is still longer than, you know, X6. I would say some of what I said about yesterday was not entirely true, okay? But my fact remains for this point is that why is the story quest longer than X6, okay? Like, we finish X6 in less than two hours while we finish we the time it takes for us to complete current story quest is three hours plus plus a bit I think like maybe give it like 15 minutes or something three hours 15 plus or three hours 30 maybe I don't know I am really sad honestly but uh Never mind. I think it's neat closer to 3 hours and 30 minutes by the time I finish this. But, uh, you know. Eh. Okay, give it 15, yeah. Give it 15, it's not 30. But yeah. Regardless, uh, for tomorrow, Spyrobis. I might do something special for tomorrow's Spyrobis. So, stream might start a bit later. But I'll still do one regardless. Alright. Yeah, I will still do it. Alright. I want to do something a bit different, but uh, not too much different. Alright. Uh, yeah. 
I want to do a time attack, if anything. But yeah, a race against the clock or something like that, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. But yeah, chat. Uh, yeah. I like that this is here. This is also here. That's cool. Honestly. Like, regardless of my... Uh, distaste for what you call X6, but I will say that this picture, this final seed planted by Carrie Bear, poses a very real, uh, you know, uh, something for us. Like a, a good what what you call like poses an interesting. Uh, you know, plants a seed for us, I should say. There we go, yeah. Like, it's important that this is, good, is being told to us, so, yeah. But yeah, I think we're done. <clears throat> I am done. Oh boy. Chat, I will go and sleep. I don't think I've anything else I want to check. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good here. I've done just about everything I can. Alright, chat. Have a good one. I'll send you guys over. Uh, to... I don't know who's online right now, so... I'm just gonna see who's online first. Uh, no one I know of is online. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just end the stream then. Unless, uh, nah, I think I'll just end the stream. Alright. Chat, take care. Have an awesome day. Hope you all had a great time watching today's stream. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the, you know, story quests a lot, yes. But yeah, have a good one, chat. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a special round of Spyro Biz. Take care. Bye-bye.